We're live, yeah? Mic check, mic check, we all good? We ready when we're ready? Marcus? When I'm ready, yeah? <clears throat> cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here at Alexandra Park. This is Entity, the Entity Open, No Gi and Gi edition. Today's rule set will be under the IBJGF rule set. Thank you. We're under the IBJGF rule set and all sub only and all matches will be five minutes. Thank you. Um, yeah, bro, don't do that, man. All matches will be five minutes. Um, for our first match, we will represent in Brazilian top team Cambridge. We have Charles Reindorf. Uh, yes. But first, we'll have some words from our from the Ronin. Well, don't do that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi guys, um, literally just an announcement that we're going to have. On the 9th of December, we um, will have the NCC Open, the Gi edition, but we'll have some super fights for no Gi as well. Currently, until the 9th of October, it will be £25. So again, until next week, the 9th of October, it'll be £25, all right? Obviously, um, today, we'll have um, a commentary, Mikel, Jeff, Yusuf, and Devonte. And as I said before, it's going to be under the IBJ, the full set, sub only. So the referee will make sure um, that if there is no sub, they will choose who the winner of the fight will be. So without further ado, I'll be back on Mikel, and he will now carry on to do his thing. All right? Peace. Cool. Right, amazing. So this is also powered by Myriad Studios. So representing Brazilian top team Cambridge, we have Charles Reindorf, and he'll be going up against Tai T. Jar, representing Mill Hill, BJJ. Are we on? Well, hello. And welcome to uh, the Entity Open, Gi and Nogi edition. Uh, my name is Jeffrey, and I'm joined here by my partner, Yusuf. Hi. And uh, this is, uh, we're really excited to be here today to commentate on this match. Uh, we have Tai Chi. Um, tai Chi Chai from Mill Hill, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh -huh. um, and we've got Charles. Um, Charles Reindorf. Charles Reindorf from Brazilian, Brazilian Top Team. All the way from Cambridge. Yeah. Charles is on top. He's going for uh, smash pass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tai Chi's Shrimping away. Tai Chi's done well. The escape is hips to the side, but but Charles is uh, still putting a lot of pressure down. It's a, oh, Tai Chi is looking for the back here, but Charles is uh, quite smartly a grip on Ooh. his trousers. There's a lot of pressure on top and a lot of flexibility underneath. Yes. Lady, um, these guys don't look to me to be in the same weight class. I think Charles looks a little bit bigger, but mm. you know, these uh, weight classes can be flexible sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I think uh, both of them are about 17 years old and their unit. Um, I've known Tai Chi uh, from uh, Mill Hill from a few years ago. I used to train there, and, um, and he was one of the, the up and coming. Uh, kids who were training under Rob Connor uh, okay. in his kids' classes and the adult classes. Um, and it's great to see him that he's like a few years later, uh, after COVID, still training. It's blue belt now. Yeah. Um, well, these teenagers, I mean, you know, Yusuf, you and I have been around this sport for a little while now, and the, and, and the level keeps going up every year. Uh, yeah. Especially in this country, the UK has got such a, a strong BJJ presence now that yeah. I'm not surprised we're getting these guys who would probably have gone into football or rugby, very athletic, and they're now choosing jiu-jitsu to, do, jiu -jitsu, to yeah. do instead. And how, how the future of the sport is going to be in the hands of these guys. We're, we're likely to see some, you know, world champions... Gi and no Gi coming from the UK or continuing to come from the UK. 
Absolutely. I mean, you're absolutely right there. I think as the uh, sport is maturing over the years, we've got kind of got. I was watching some first generation uh, black belts in a podcast the other day, and it was really interesting because now we're, I think, into second generation, possibly even third generation yep. Yep. of jiu jitsu, and it's so well established um, yep. Yep. here, and, 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 and some fantastic schools, and, and some you know, powerful kids who are practicing. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, just a reminder here, there's, there are no points, um, so we're not scoring points here. So if the match goes to time without a submission, the submission will stop and provide a win. But if there's no submission, then it's going to be the ref's choice. So the ref is going to be watching for who can, uh, you know, deliver their techniques, who can stay on top, who can go for submissions. And, uh, and I believe it's the going for submissions that count the most in the ref's mind ah. to... to whether or not a person wins. So he's going to be watching out for those things happening. I yeah. mean, he's going to have to be really focused um, for the day. Yes, I think, yes. You know. and, and with no scorer, he's going to be really all on uh, Jack, our referee today, but he knows what he's doing. He's, a, he's, he's got a lot of matches under his belt as a referee. Mm, okay, we've got a single leg. Charles has got um, Tai Chi in a single leg. Oh, oh nice. Blast double. Tai Chi oh. defends very well, though. And yeah, he looks like he out. might be going for some kind of a head and arm. Yeah, maybe. And certainly pushing the head down. He's trying to sprawl out. Uh, Charles oh, he, is driving. He's oh, got oh, a, oh. He looked like he was going for a darst there for a second, but didn't quite finish yeah. it. He's got that really deep overhook on the arm which uh, is really useful. Tai Chi is defending this amazingly well. Yeah. It's uh, oh. really quite, quite uh, impressive. Now he needs to be careful not to reap the knee. There's still IBJJF uh, rules in terms of um, fouls here. And he looks like he's going for a straight foot lock, Tai Chi. This is going to look good in the eyes of the ref. Yeah, actually oh. going for a submission attempt there. Yeah. Um, unfortunately. Charles, yeah, Charles has pushed his way up on top. It looks like he's now established a guard pass. So this is going to look really good in, in the eyes of Jack here yeah. to control this. Now he's got short time now. I think he's only got 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yeah, I heard that. So he's going to have to work. It's going to be interesting. And Jack has already got, oh, he's got a cross choke from the top here, I think. It looks like he's going oh, for yeah. a cross choke. Oh, and, and he's yeah, got there him. he goes, the tap. Fantastic. Very good. Wow, that was an excellent match. Really yeah. close. I, I, you know, I'm, um, I'm impressed by, by both of these young men. Yeah, I mean, they were tactical. They were controlled all the way through. Yeah. Fantastic match. And there you go. Shake your hands at the end of it. Excellent. Damn, look at him. <laughs> He's a unit. Start for myself. I think I underestimated him a lot. But, um, you know, great, great event. Yeah. Great experience. So, um, on to the next. You said he's improved a lot. So you've gone up against Tai Chi. What, what, is, what has he improved? Just his overall composure. Yep. Um, less predictable as well. So he's stifled a lot of my yep. attacks. You're a man of very good composure as well. That's something I, I, whenever I watch you fight, that's something you always carry about yourself. So Appreciate it's amazing. Well done to you. Let me give this to you now. Congratulations, Charles, everyone. Fantastic, and that brings us to our next bout. We have Heshir Hussein from Checkmat Fight Zone going up against Abdel Kachimi, representing Great Britain top team. Heshir Hussein. Hussein. 
So it's this match, it's this match. Oh, yeah. All right, he's gone for a quick uh, takedown, single leg takedown. Looks like uh, Bryden is on top, Everest on the bottom. So Bryden Morton from Toucan uh, Academy in Bedfordshire. I've and kind of been around for a few years, that has. Yeah, and Avaris from Apex Jiu-Jitsu, so not, not too far uh, from here. I've got a good turnout out from uh, some of the Apex uh, team today. I think there's a few fighters on the... Uh, yep. on oh. Yep. Oh, he's... Uh, looks like Everest is going for a uh, omoplata, but he hasn't quite got the angle right. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian's so doing very well to stay on top of him. It's hard to finish the uh, omoplata when somebody's sitting on your face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if oh. Uh, Bryden can get out of here, he's got a good position for an inverted triangle on the top. But his, his hand is still caught in there. I love these little guys. I love them. The under 70s, the under 64s, they are, always got such excellent movement, you know? And they ping and pop. Yeah. Uh, so from much position to position, yeah. So much scrambling and, and, and flexibility and folding over. I think, that, you know, like when you said they got the. Uh, the um, the Omar Plaza, they roll through with it, yeah. and yeah, yeah. So Everest with the uh, Everest with the early submission attempt, uh, but Bryden has been able to establish a side control position, and oh, he got a bit greedy trying to move to mount too early. Yeah, Everest uh, doing well uh, to move up the back. It looks like he is isolated uh, Bryden's right arm. He's looking to move up the back, perhaps. Has, has he got the underhook there? Yeah, yeah he has got the underhook. But no. uh, and he hasn't, he's, he's, I think he's going to try and set up another omoplata here. Yeah, uh, he's got his, the, the overhook on him and he's got the gi. Oh, I think um, for Bryden, I know he's he likes this underhook position here, but if... Yeah, if he gets straightened out, it's going to be uh, difficult for him with that arm trapped in there. Avaris mm. <clears throat> uh, looking for a triangle. He's uh, looking to push Bryden's left arm up. He hasn't quite got it. Bryden uh, has defended well. But he's quite comfortable there, actually. I think it's uh, yeah. something to bring with him to get himself out of trouble here. And, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so excellent guard work. Wow. Really good from both gentlemen. Oh, so, he's... So this is counted as a sweep, uh, at least if it, we were looking at points. So Avaris has done well to, to, to do this. He just needs to escape that head. He can escape the head and hold the position. I think it'll look good in the, uh, in the judge's eyes. It was uh, in a dance track, but I think he might have. Was I think it, it was doubles. Yeah, I think it was doubles. Yeah, yeah. and there was maybe a bit of movement where it slips yeah. out. Yeah. 
So I think uh, uh, Avaris wants to keep stapling that leg that's underneath him here. If he can staple that leg and work one of his arms free. Uh, there we go, he's got one of the arms free. Bryden looking for a guillotine on the bottom, but it's hard to get a guillotine, high elbow guillotine in the yeah. gi. There's just so many, so much fabric in the way. Nice. Oh, lovely. oh, lovely. Backstep from Avaris. Look at that. Very good. He's looking for a Kimura or an arm bar on that arm yeah. there. I think he could also consider oh. doing... Ooh. Could also consider doing a triangle, a reverse triangle, if he wanted to. I mean, that was uh, really interesting, just watching him backstep there, because I think, you know, we, we kind of look at that as quite an advanced, oh, yeah. you know, backstep position for Schwab White Girls. So um, yep. Really comfortable. Yep. You know, went from that position and then to whichever one they went to about, you know, yep. a minute ago. Yep. I mean, this is great, actually. It's going top to bottom, bottom to top. Yeah, really good action. I think I really like Avaris's game here. He's, yeah. uh, he's, you know, he's shown the ability to move from a su one submission to the next quite well. Yeah. Um, Bryden is, has done amazingly to, to get on top and stay on top. Yeah. So it's going to be a tough one for Jack. I don't know how he's going yeah. to score this, if indeed it does go to time. Mm. Bryden with those heavy hips. His arm is stuck. Oh, he's released that no, now. So it's now uh, north south. Back into the center. And we call this a four corner pinning position here. So he's got overhook on one arm and underhook on the other. It's really good if you want to just hold a guy down. Yeah. You don't want him to move, especially in the gi. You can grab behind the collar and it's a really oh, effective oh. way. But wow, look at that. Uh, but I think if you've got your elbows in, there is the possibility of yep. being just swept over. And we come to the end of the five minutes. Amazing. Hard, hard to decide on that. Really hard score. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to give my edge to um, Avaris. Oh, oh, okay. but oh. He's chosen Bryden. So interestingly, even though Bryden didn't really look to be going for a lot of submissions, he did actually have probably the better positional strategy. Yeah, but if we're talking about this. It's a tough one. I, and you know, Jack is a much better referee than I'll ever be, so I'm not going to ever... Uh, and, he's, uh, and he's a lot bigger than me. Absolutely. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we'll, we'll whisper what our thoughts are <laughs> yes, just here so yes. nobody hears us. Exactly. Um, just between you and me and, yeah, and, and all of our lovely listeners at home. Exactly. And, and you know, it's just... Let's not argue with the referee. The decision's the decision. Yeah, it's a tough gig being a ref. Oh, I mean, having ref in the past year, no, it, you know, you know, you're doing your job well when nobody ever speaks to you. <laughs> you know, it's one of those kinds of things. <laughs> We're back. Okay, we've got uh, a uh, male, what is it? Oh, ultra heavy, 105 uh, kilograms. We've got Serjan from Fight City Gym and Christian from Apex. Uh, they've gripped up. Oh, it's a big judo trip there. Brought him to the ground. Uh, Christian's on top. He's done a lovely um, rotation around. He's got him and he's got crit surgeon into a side control he's gone to mount possibly a little bit too quickly 
Not sure. Oh, and then he's gone to his back. He must have felt. He must have felt more comfortable Down playing guard. There. You know, I've seen Christian compete before, and okay. he's uh, he is a very, very strong competitor. Mm. Um, you know, like I think uh, these really tall guys sometimes you you don't get an appreciation for how strong they are, but I know wow. Christian's very strong. Yeah, yeah. Well, he pushed him off really it's quickly. It's the first time I've, I've met Surgeon. I met him just Surgeon. just before the match, and uh, it seems like a very capable uh, guy. Um, it's be an interesting match. Yeah. Pulling guard. Uh, this is a nice axe card. Look at oh, 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 oh. Wow. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> Who says big guys can't move? Yeah. Right? Um, I don't even know how to describe that one, but there was a forward flip in there yeah. and, and, and a rotation. I think he, f he felt like if he had stayed in the X card, he's probably going to get swept. Yeah, so absolutely. So I think he, he took matters into his own hands. Really? Oh, oh. big takedown. That's the second one. <clears throat> I think Surgeon kind of faked that uh, Sumi Gaeshi's. And and I and I uh, you know when you do that and then you stand back up you're really straight aren't you yeah so like you, you open yourself up for those like uh, you know those those kinds of yeah, throws those kind of throws and moves yeah okay no, surgeon doing well to try and retain his guard but he hasn't quite been able to do it good pressure on top from Christian yeah bring your elbow back in I think yeah oh, oh. coming up to the top oh he's I think he's looking for a Darcy yeah. or maybe an anaconda. It's also an opportunity for a loop choke from here if you can pass that yeah. across the neck. Yeah, he's got a lot of options from here. I really love a head and arm position. I really yeah. like this in this half guard here when you can get a head and arm. Yeah, um, uh, he's got his head out. Surgeon's done well to get the head out. He, he looks actually quite comfortable here. And, that, you know, I think yeah. there are a lot of ple people now playing this, this kind of half guard game. It's very, mm. very popular, um, especially in the last few years. I can see uh, in the monitor over here that Christian is stapling Surgeon's leg with his foot. And if he's able to push enough pressure down, he can probably move to mount. Mm. Um, yeah, and I was thinking that Christian's having problems getting that arm out, um, which is why he kind of couldn't <laughs> quite move from the position. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh. Mm. A really good movement for Christian. Yeah. You know, for such a tall guy, he he really does is able to move around the head very well. Yeah, beautiful. And that's one of the things you really look for when you when you're trying to promote somebody from white to blue is that ability to transition over the head when looking to pass the guard. Ah, interesting. You know, I yeah, think a lot yeah. of white belts they are always trying to push on the knees with yeah, their hands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when in fact, you know, often the better option is just to pin the shoulders and move around and move the head. Around, yeah. And, and kind of getting that learning, that movement, the, the rotational movement, rather than just driving forward type movement. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, we've got oh, a Kimura oh. on that arm there. Christian mm, doesn't look too worried about it, but I think in the ju judges is going to be happy to see that opportunity to finish the fight. You can finish the Kimura from here, but it looks like Surgeon has given it up. Oh, he's going back to it. You can also do a hip bump sweep here. So he's working hard, hard, hard on. He's working hard for that Kimura, and, and it is there. But um, you know, in this position here, with with Christian really sucking that arm in deep, he's really like doing a is like a bicep curl into his chest mm. to, to to stop it. It's going to be tough, but you can do it. Well, that's right. You know, the leg work here is going to be really important if Christian's going to escape this particular attempt. Yep. Oh, oh is it nice. is a looking for the sweep and hasn't quite got and it. He's got that out. Yeah. He's out. I think he's out. The arm's yeah, out. I think he's out. Surgeon done what has done well to get back in the half guard mm. again, and he still has the arm. He still hasn't given oh. it up. Oh, it's. Oh, he's just oh, run out of time. On time there. But that was that was close. That was very close. So I wonder I again. Maybe. Jack is gonna have to. He's gonna have a tough time yeah. judging this one. Well, I, I reckon. I reckon Jack knows what he's going to pick. I, uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I think I, it was a close one at the end, but I think Christian d demonstrated. Yeah. Yeah. A bit too much I, to, to to be swayed by a late yeah. submission attempt. This would be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah fair enough. Um, yeah. 
I thought maybe on the submission attempt, which was the, looks like the kind of only real yes. submission attempt in there. But yeah, actually yeah. Christian worked really if hard maybe all the way through that. Surgeon's going to go back to his seat and he's going to think, if I only had 30 more seconds. Yeah, yeah. And that arm would have hopefully have gone yes. back far enough. Yeah. So just keep getting on flat, it doesn't mean it's on. The guy just, just sat up his head, he's been uh, stopped. Joseph Miller uh, from Militia, uh, Jiu Jitsu, uh, part of Raspberry 8 uh, team, and we've got Lanray and Fisher uh, from the London Fight Factory. Oh, big takedown there. Uh, Lan Lanray, yeah, that's it, Lanray's on top of the right gear. Got a nice tight side control. Controlling the uh, far side arm, trying to advance himself. Uh, going into knee on belly, straight into metal. Mike Joseph's got a lot of work to do. It looks like uh, Lanray's heavy hips, he's in control, his arms are out wide, he's not going to get swept by his position. Joseph uh, getting a hand on the inside, across the neck. He needs to start rotating. Yeah, that's it. He's making a little space there. But he needs to turn his body, bringing his other arm down towards the hips as Lanray is isolating the arm from his body. Oh, lovely control. He's got his spider fingers crawling his way up the mat. Using his head there, beautiful, just literally nudging the arm. Not back up, that's it. Oh, he throws his legs forward, it looks like he's going for his own arm bar. A bit premature there, possibly. He's allowed um, Joseph to bring his arm down to the waist. He's using heavy hand across the neck. Uh, yeah, which is going to allow Joseph to butt and just maybe he's going to take care of get his ankles right on that one. The 
did a good job, Lanray is controlling the position. This. Yeah, he's got an S mount position. He's gone back to a full mount. Joseph, yeah, he's got his hands in, but he needs to start posturing if he wants to escape. Landray, yep, using those spider fingers to open up that elbow there. Try to isolate the arm, maybe going for a, uh, an arm, head and arm triangle. Yep, yep, yep. Slowly, yep. slowly, but yeah, he's got he's almost in position there. And there you go. Has he got the arm back out, I think? Can't oh, no, really yeah, see so I couldn't see from there, yeah. Yeah, no, he's got the arm. But, it, yeah. He's trying to get that pressure in, but... Mm. He's surviving up there. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, he's pushing to the side, but Lanray's got his uh, shoulder of justice in on the other side as well. So um, he's got a lot of work to do at the moment, Joseph, if he wants to reverse his fortunes. So like he's trying to bridge, but yeah. he just can't just seem no to get no for none yeah. at all. None at all. Yeah. And he's got really big thighs, so he's really he's, <laughs> he's, he's quite well. Yeah, he is. I mean, there you go. There's going to be a tight squeeze in there. He's doing ever so well control of the position. Uh, you know, it looks like he's... I think he's trying to set up... Oh, cross, cross stroke. But that, yeah, it's dangerous business uh, trying to do a cross straight from this position because yeah. he's going to lose his uh, his own stability there. Do you thought he could have went for a different choke there? Well, I mean, it different... looks like he's kind of slightly looking to isolate the arm there as well. I mean, there's the possibility that he could take it around to an arm bar. Yep. Uh, he's got the legging over. A triangle? Uh, a triangle, but he hasn't got... Yeah, he needs to get that elbow in. Uh, yeah, 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 there you go, there you go. He's got the position. Good transition. Oh, belly down arm bar. Yep. And stop. Yeah, there you go. You've got belly down arm bar. It worked well really <laughs> hard to get there. Yeah, lots of hard work. Good position from the mount. Transition in between them. Yep. And kept very composed and patient. For yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah, look at him. Brilliant stuff. And as you say, thighs like that, you're not really going to get out of the, uh, the, the mount position too easily. <laughs> Not at all. Trilogy, possible trilogy. Now, standing up again, Christian's really, yeah. He, oh, he's straight into side control there. What's interesting is Christian actually has gone to uni, so he's taken a little break from jujitsu. He said it's his first competition in, in a few months. His is first, it? He's just gone straight in. <laughs> he hasn't been training. My goodness, what? Coming down for the weekend, see yeah. his mum and dad and had a fight. <laughs> 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 and the skill he's displaying today is absolutely sensational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seemed to be worried a bit of rust, but I don't think I'd, a lot of people would be able to tell. Oh, absolutely, there you go. We've got him right. He's got him down into side control. He needs to start working from here if he's looking for a submission. Looks like he's isolating the arm. Where is he going? Serjan's doing well to just sort of like try and keep him off, but now he's back into side control there. Right back on it. My goodness me. There was a flurry of movement there. Um, both got to their feet. There was a spin in the middle. And we're just pausing. 
Sergio it's fun doing to see up his belt. It's fun to see the ultra heavies go at it. Yeah, when, exactly. when it's lighter weight, they, they flurry and the, the slams are so much lighter. But then when it's a heavyweight, you really hear oh, the you, impact. You, you feel it through <laughs> the floor, don't you? Yeah. And Christian looks focused, man. You can see it in his eyes today. His laser, he's really after this. What, do, what is it that Sergio needs to do to kind of gain an easy field? I mean, first of all, he needs to start kind of getting out of these positions. He's doing all defend, defend, defend yeah. here at the moment. You know, uh, yeah, Christian's really strong. Oh, you see, he's kind of overextending his reach here. He's got like a, oh, yeah, there you go, back into a... Better place for Neon yeah. Benny. It's really interesting kind of looking at the choke here. Um, it's n not really going to work. Okay. You know, um, it, it needs to be a much tighter position. It's all, you know, and this is this, this kind of thing actually watching the white belts here. Yeah. And, you know, there's fantastic energy. There's that kind of understanding of very basic movements, but there's right. lots of kind of little things that you think, oh, you know, maybe don't do that. A bit more of the technique. Well, you know, and that's what comes with time, and this is what comes with these competitions where yeah. they'll come, they'll walk away, both of them, and they'll say what went right and what went wrong in this particular fight, you know. Yeah. And hopefully from there they can start to reflect on their own practice and, and you know, fill in those gaps and, yeah. and, you know, time and experience. But it's fantastic seeing them on the mats today. I'd like to know a little bit more about um, Sergian Sir and where he's from. I mean, he, he he almost looks like a college boy who's come down for the weekend <laughs> as well. You know, looks like a nice lad. It is the first time I've um, seen Sergian actually compete here. Yeah. And at an entity event. Yeah, and I'm, I'm uh, where is it? Fight City. I don't really know a lot about Fight City. I'm going to try and f meet some of the guys from Fight City today just so I can yeah. give them a shout out, know exactly what part of London they're from. Ooh. Ooh. That was a big takedown there. That was there. a very good reverse there. Sergeant tried, tried to take Christian down, but he reversed Christian it. Christian pushed him. back, yeah, yep. he got him down. He's, uh, He's very much in, con in control here. No, he's wrapping up his wrist. No, wrap it around his head. He's like double mounting him at the moment. It's, you know, just re really unpleasant to be on the bottom at the moment. Absolutely. Oh, he's he's very up. relentless with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's he's, really nice. He's got that. Yeah, yeah, he's got his hand in. Oh, you know, there's the potential for a, a, a loop yeah. choke in there as well. Uh, the hand's come out. He's lost the grip. Well, so Christian again, has no, a... Going back into... Um, uh, uh, the Oma Plata, is it Oma Plata, Kimura? He has about a minute to work on this, just under a minute. Yeah, the Kimura, so, so Chris, sorry, um, where is it, Matan is uh, back into that Kimura position, which he, he was there in the first match. Uh, the arms Ooh. come out, he's lost position. Uh, Chris, Christian's all over him. Being the much more offensive opponent yeah, in this yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, he's slow down a little bit. Maybe just sort of like take stock, kind of hold the position. Yeah. Think about where he is from there and then start thinking, right, I'm in a good position. Oh, what am I from there? Oh, he's a wrap around. around him. Whoa. He's like that literally oh, manhandling him all over the place, <laughs> isn't he? Ah, uh, but you know. Maslan's done really well. S sorry, Maslan. I think he's trying to... Sergian. Sorry, Sergian. Sergian, well done, man. Wow. <laughs> really energetic. Um, so I'm waiting for the rest decision. This is the uh, second fight. And the winner goes to Christian. Yeah, Chris, Christian Campbell from Apex Jiu Jitsu. Work, work, work all the way through, looking for different positions. Um, uh, Surjan defended, defended, defended all the way through there. It was a great match, great match. Big takedowns as well.
Jack. Sorry, man. Not your fault. My fault. Kristen, a dominant performance. How was that for you? Well, I was chuffed with the outcome, but being a bit dusty, disappointed I didn't get any subs. Yeah. So, um, just go train. <laughs> how many how many months have you been off now? Like three months. Yeah. Yeah. What did Serjan find? What do you find difficult with Serjan? Um, I think obviously being quite strong, it was uh, not as easy to just boss my way around. Yeah. But um, I did feel that I had a speed advantage, so I just kept going for that when I could. Well, it seemed like he was moving like a light heavyweight rather than an ultra heavyweight. But honestly, you've done very well. Congratulations. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you. Christian, everybody. Cheers. Well, 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 well done. All right, coming up next, we have Lanwe Agbaje representing London Fight Factory, and he's going up against Amir Zed Nelly, representing Gorilla Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Let's go. All right, we're back. Where is that one? And this is in the, uh, what division is this? This is nine, under 94, under 95 k kgs. So this is, uh, you know, not the heavyweights, but just underneath. So we've got Lanray uh, Bauge from London Fight Factory and uh, Amir Zej Nelly from Gorilla Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Love it, love it. Amazing, yeah. And both these guys are uh, looking for some judo. They're looking to do a bit of Take wrestling out. and judo. Oh. This is, I'm glad to see that. So that would count, even though it looked like a mere pulled guard there, I think that would still count as a takedown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because uh, Lanray had a hold uh -huh. of the leg, didn't yeah, he? Absolutely yeah, absolutely did. And um, yeah, he kind of sat back and uh, took control. So yep. heavy positions, both of them strong looking fighters. Yep. I think uh, Lanray's done well to fold the Amir's legs over here. So because one yeah. of uh, because Amir's knee is not able to point up to the ceiling, his his hips are going to be weaker because he's got his legs folded over. Lanray's working hard to be able. Oh, to there you go. Ah, oh, but Amir's done well to get his butterfly hooks back here. Good breaking grip. Good grip breaking. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. This is uh, what? Ah, oh, lovely, lovely. Ah, uh, good scramble here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you know. Ah, oh, amazing. Amir's got that compact frame, flexible legs. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, uh, it is a nightmare to pass the guard of people who are really compact like that. They just seem to be able to always get their legs back in. Yeah. Uh, and. and yeah, that was a really near, that's a good near pass from Lan right there. Um, I think in a position like this, I'd rather see Amir looking for a cross grip on the collar. I think, um, you know, if he's not able to keep Lanray's posture down and close to him, he's going to struggle to stop these passes. Absolutely, yeah. And, and actually, maybe the, the, yeah, the, sort of like the sleeve grips are just not enough to kind of I don't break think so. that not, posture not, down. Not, yeah. not with somebody who's as dynamic as Lanray here. Yeah. I mean, look at that beautiful range of movements. We've kind of seen, uh, you know, a closed guard position. We've seen a, uh, a guard passing position. We've seen side control. We've seen kind of back yep. takes. Yeah. Really, you know, it's. Um, that land you know, doing very what well. He's doing, yeah. Oh, Great breaks as well. Two beautiful. Hooks in. Look at that. He's, he's yeah, looking yeah, for that yeah. cross. He's looking for that cross grip. Looking for maybe a cross choke from the back. Yeah. Notice um, how he just notice he like opened up his whole bit. Like Cam opened him there. Yep. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, and now Landry's yeah. either gonna. Yeah. Oh, he's just switched oh. to a rear naked choke, a short choke grip here. No, not quite. Mm. He's a lot of options here. Yeah. Uh, and Amir doing well to fight the hands. Yeah, you know, the that's hand the first point. thing that you tell the white belt. He's got to fight those hands. Don't reach down to the legs and try and push them off your hip. You see no, that sometimes. No, absolutely. Oh, he's got belly down. He's gone belly down here. Doesn't look like Landry has. Oh, he's got one hand out. It looked like he had two double under. So he's got. Oh, nah. this is tough now. This is a tough position. Uh, oh, he's doing well. He's twisting, twisting. Look how he's twisting. Oh. Oh boy, this is really hard on your back yeah. if you're on the bottom. Yeah. You got somebody heavy pushing down on oh, your low back. Yeah, yep. yep. Yeah. Powerful stuff. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. A, it's really tough when you're in that position. It really, your back gets all tore up because yeah. there's somebody sitting on your lower back and pulling your head up. Yeah, absolutely. It's really, really I tough. I mean, really sensible to, uh, to uh, uh, tap early from those positions. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a rematch, Everest and Bryden, which was an excellent match uh, earlier in the morning where it was a ref's decision. Jack um, decided in favor of Bryden mm -hmm. because he showed more top control, more yep. passing, uh, but Everest had some really very close run submission attempts. Absolutely, it was exciting. They were, you know, two small guys and they are you know, rolling through lots of different positions yeah. and lots of flexibility in there as well. It's a bit exciting, the first one. Look at that double fist bump by the, uh, the referee <laughs> there or, or with, with both Bryden and um, who is it? The, uh, Everest. Bryden, Everest. Yeah. Yeah, boom. Lots of fist bump. Oh, wow, right into that it, was Everest. A heavy, oh. heavy. Oh! Oh, what was that? Flying, flying that's a triangle, it was, really. It oh. was, I think you could say that was a flying triangle. You're not allowed to jump guard in white belts, so I think oh. Jack is letting him go a little bit. But that's good. He should, because yeah. he, I think it wasn't a triangle. I think it was legitimately yeah, a triangle no, absolutely attempt. absolutely yeah. it was, yeah. It's a very dynamic early start yeah. from Everest here. Oh, he's got a nice kind of cross-collar grip. He's... Oh. And he's going it, back to that uh, that kind of, kind of mission control style yeah. guard, that high guard. Oh, oh, very dynamic, really good stuff. Yeah. I think Everest is something to prove here because he felt like maybe he uh, did. didn't win that yeah. first match, but he wanted to. And uh, yeah, nice. It's a decent guard pull here. See that cross grip, yeah, cross collar grip is really effective when you're in a guard that open guard position like that. Really heavy hips mm. here. Nice, good tripoding and heavy uh, hips from Bryden. It's tough to move somebody who is tripoded like that with their head low. He's got that I, I think Everest has got is he should maybe be thinking about that omoplata again. He's underneath that arm. If he could bring his leg up, I think he's got a good position to go for Oma Plata, but it's yeah. now Bryden's got his arm out, so. I mean, the, the, the positions have changed so quickly. I mean, you were saying that, and I was thinking, oh, maybe there was a loop choke in there as well. Yeah. Um, but he's still got the hand in the collar, so. Yeah. Um, he's I think that cross collar grip is so yeah. important here. And yeah. Trying to get it as yeah. high as I possible. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Just snapping him down there, controlling the head. Like, again, he's looking, looks like he's looking for a loop choke here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. 
Is it still there? Yeah, Not oh, quite. Look oh, we're looking for also, armbar. Yeah, the armbar. I mean, the, the, with that particular uh, cross collar grip, he, it's it's so versatile in terms of position. Yeah, constantly hanging off of it. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to go for a jump there. Didn't yeah, he? Yeah. He's it. waiting for Brian yeah. to come up to go for that. Oh, oh he's got a guillotine arm and guillotine here. Be squeezing. Yeah, it's yeah, hard yeah. in oh. the gi. Is so much to hold on to with the gi. So it's hard to get that yeah. guillotine in the gi. Brian popping his head out of there. Looking for that. I think he's looking for the triangle again, but Bryden mm. is smart. He, and he, last time uh, Everest did this, he went for the pass, oh. didn't he? Yep, just yeah. like now. Nice. Everest doing well to recover the guard. He's got a triangle. Oh. He's, it's not quite locked in. He's not hadn't got his foot underneath his knee, yeah. but oh, it's close. He could go for an arm bar yeah, here. Yeah, look at that. It's all the, I think, oh no. Like, Bryden's yeah, just he goes, pulled his arm again. Out. Oh. That's two uh, triangle attempts. I think the first one, it was just too high to have kind of pulled him in. The second one was great, though. It's yeah. like, Agreed. Uh, nipped it in. So Bryden's doing brilliantly well to yeah, stay, out, stay out of trouble. But that has to be racking up points for, for, for Everest, surely. Mm. In, uh, I mean, yeah, even, yeah, though, yeah. even though Bryden ended up in the pass position, um, I hope that Everest is uh, uh, taking his, his, yeah. his... Yeah, I think he's taking heart from the fact that he's uh, getting these submission attempts in. Uh, you know, the third fight could be the you know, fight, the fight of the day. Yes. You know, if, if only uh, we could get them to fight three times, that would be great. Yeah. I think that this was... Uh, this fight is only happening because there was somebody else in their division that didn't show up. Who uh, was the way? So it looks like Everest has got a hold of Bryden's sleeve here, and he's trying to work his leg yeah. back in. Uh, I didn't quite get and, uh, it. Bryden's really got excellent control on top, hasn't he? He's taking his time. Mm -hmm. He knows he's in a good position. Yes, but, you know, we've we got five minutes, and we're looking for a submission only attempt. Don't. Whoa, yeah. Uh, 45 seconds, so uh, we'll see what happens here. It has to... It's tougher at the end of the match when you've put a lot into it. It's uh, you kind of run out of gas a little bit, and I think that's probably what's happened here. Yeah. Your grips burn out, and uh, you can't hold on anymore. Uh, and that's a, a lot of one. pressure going through. A lot of pressure. I was thinking that the kind of like overhook grip that he was getting was good, but it's it was it, it was he, he wasn't thinking about his bottom half in yes. terms of keeping control of the guard, which allowed Bryden yeah, to pass Coordinating your upper half and lower half yeah. is really it's one of those things that's so tough to do. Once Absolutely. you get it, you get it, but. Let's see which way this goes. This was an uh, exciting match that was once. It's great. Hey! hey. <laughs> I think that's the right decision. Yeah, I absolutely. think that's the right decision. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah. I think, I think a in, a sub -only tournament, in a sub-only tournament, tournament, you have to, you have to be... Um, you have to be engendering a lot more risk taking. Yeah. And so you want to be able to give more points to those people who are going for those submissions, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, well, oh, straight uh, into the next one. Who, well, let's have a look at um, who we've got here. Christopher Brown and Matthew. Matthew is Gracie Waha. Yeah, which one of these? Matthew is Gracie Waha. Oh. Uh, yeah, so, okay, yeah. Yep. And, so, yeah. So, and Matthew, and the, Matthew in the blue gi and Christian in the black gi. Hmm. Matthew Baha. from Gracie Baha Oval and Christopher Brown from uh, Militia, Ju Militia Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I, I Raspberry Ape Team. It might be called, it, uh, it might be called Milita. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's not I, actually. It's called Militia. I just wanted to say that for Dominic, who runs Militia, <laughs> BJJ. Is yes. it a noise? Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Well, hopefully he's listening then. Yeah, I hope you are, uh, Dom. <laughs> um, there we go. Right, yeah, we've got these guys. Far be it from um, us to take to lose an opportunity to annoy somebody. Yes, okay? exactly. At our age, you don't get very many opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to make sure we take advantage of them. And he's got his uh, other half here today. Uh, it's run, uh, militia's run by a couple of guys, uh, Dominic and Dominic. And um, so the other Dominic is here today. Very good. Um, and he's brought his fighters down. He's got about three fighters from uh, militia today. Uh, let's have a look what's going so on. So it looks here. like uh, Matthew's got, got a lovely, really good movement into an armbar there. Good, fast hips. You know, almost basic positions of white belts, closed guard, into an arm bar, yep. and he's in big trouble. Oh, he's right into, a go, into a triangle. into a triangle. Really, really good. There you go. He needs to change the angle there, maybe. Yeah, I think he needs to. No, that's yeah, the wrong yeah. way. He needs to go the other way. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, now Christian's been able to get his... Has he got his other arm through now, I think? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, I think he's, he's still, still in this. He's still there. Matthew needs to turn his head the other way. He keeps trying to turn it to his right. He wants to turn it to the left. Yeah. He wants to rotate to the other direction. Yeah, and Stuff, um, you know, Christian's doing well. He's staying really tight and he's keeping yeah. square. You know, that's the one thing yeah. in, that, in this in this position. You want to try and keep square to the person who's trying to tap you. You want to try and keep your head in line with theirs. And Jack moving us back into the middle here. Christian getting some good uh, coaching on the sidelines there. From uh, Good at from knee shield half guard for Matthew on the bottom. It's quite stretched out there. Yeah. Oh, there you go, there you go. He's got the underhook, he's flattening him out onto the back. He's using his the cross face to try and get him in there. Yeah. Um, Matthew doing hard to try and uh, get his arm back in. You know, he's really isolated that arm there, so it's very difficult for him to just sort of like windscreen white back underneath his ne uh, throat. Yeah. To start. Oh, there he is. There he's got his got the, got the hand in. I mean, just that the battle. Get your hand from one position to another. Yeah. There you go. He's creating his frames. He's got the hips. Um, there we go. He's in a much better position yeah. now. Now he's got that frame in, like you're thinking. Oh, 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 lovely. There you go. Just uh, swept in and, uh, and, and reversed the position. Let's see how he... Uh, the foot's through already, so it's going to be... There you go. He's flattening him. He needs to get that. Well, look at that. Matthews has been able to score a pass. Normally worth three points if this were, uh, yeah. if this were an IBJJF scored tournament. Go. But it still looks very good in the eyes of the ref to be able to not only sweep but pass the guard as well. Pass the really guard. good. And, and just as they broke there, you know, Matthew was just tucking that hand and cross facing him. Just yep. again, he's like you can see the sort of uh, the design. Yep. Oh, no, you're good. Stiff arming him away. Oh. oh, big muscle technique. He likes to see uh. that. <laughs> I think uh, oh, Matthew overcommitted, didn't he? He put too yeah. much weight, and um, uh, Christian rolled him. Rolled yeah. him forward. There you go. Good isolation of the near side arm. Yep. Yeah. I think he's looking for perhaps an Americana oh, or I think a Kimura he's got the other arm. arm isolated in some way. Can't yeah. quite see what's going on from the angle. Good movement from Christian. Uh, rotating around. He needs to yeah. stay heavy there. Uh, really good heaviness uh, on the top here from Christian. He's got a good uh, deep grip with his right hand underneath, and I think he's going to step that right leg over. Yeah, there yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, lovely, and, lovely, And this lovely. is, we call this a canto oh, choke. Show, yeah. Uh, I call it a, a lazy choke because it's really, really simple. You just step over the head and give a squeeze. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I really love the position. The shoulder into one hip, your head down at the other. Yeah. You know, pinning it four, diff four different ways. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Yeah. Do it again. Should have another go at it. Yeah, go on. I oh. think so. Ran out of time. Oh,
a great match. Yeah, and I think that was sort of like the, the submission attempt through the match, wasn't it? Really kind of like... Well, no, I think there was the triangle oh, earlier. The triangles yeah, earlier. triangle so and armbar yeah. earlier, I think. Um, oh, and yeah. I, so I think it's going to be a tough one, isn't it? I, I think they were very good. They were very good. Attempts at them. And, and then they, he was in it for quite a while. He was yeah. in that triangle. So yeah. I think I think Matthew's probably going to yeah, get the nod yeah. here. I think so. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Matthew from uh, Gracie Baja Oval uh, gets the win in that one. Well um, done. Well done to both gentlemen. And we're back here with uh, James and Patrick. Uh, James Lindsay from Penthouse Combat Club. Did you say Penthouse Combat Club? Yeah, pen penthouse. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Patrick Fisher from Apex. Ooh, that's aggressive. Yeah. It's so interesting, you know, uh, Apex, I think, you know, is a tough club. They've got a very competitive spirit. Very competitive. Um, and I think that's um, Patrick in the black gi. Yeah. And it looks like he's wearing an Apex gi. Is it? I think so, yeah. yeah. I like to cool. see the older guys battling, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think both of us j started our BJJ journey well into our 30s, didn't, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, you know, like, I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of uh, gratitude to these older people continuing the tradition of starting. You're a white belt, you got a bit of gray in your hair, but you're still in there, you're battling, you're fighting those younger, more athletic people. Uh, I think it's great. You know, this is the greatness about this sport. You don't have to be young to start it. It helps, of course. Yeah. But there's still a lot of growth available to you, even if you're, uh, you know, looking like us. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think actually, <laughs> like, when they are getting older, you know, in, in, you know, like, we're starting in our 30s, you're almost at the point where, unless you've been training in some way up until that point, and then you come and discover jiu-jitsu, yes. you... Again, you kind of think, wow. And if it's for you, I yeah. mean, the, the, you're hooked from day one. Absolutely. And to the point where these two guys, as you say, they're three strong white belts and they're fighting an entity Absolutely. on Saturday and, yeah. and, and probably have been training really hard to kind of get to that point where no they're doubt. prepared for the competition. No, no, Great stuff. Big, oh, no, just to say, Patrick has done, uh, I think he's shown a little bit more aggression on the feet and I think he, he has been able to now secure this position. Though he needs to be careful because James is in full guard. It is a good position to be in, but Patrick doing very well to pass this guard, staying heavy. He's not moving too much. He's just letting James carry that weight. It's hard to carry all that weight with just the top shin. Mm. Uh, but James has done well to get it back to a half guard yeah. position. And he's got that kind of like, you know, frame against his throat. So it's very difficult for James to kind of get past that. So Patrick. Make, Patrick, sorry. So it's kind of off balance there. I mean, it's interesting as well, the size difference between the two of them. Obviously, in the same weight category, but, you know. Um, but Patrick's quite a bit taller, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah absolutely. 
And once you learn to use that that height, it can be a real advantage in this sport. Yeah. Yeah. So Patrick doing well. He's shifting oh, right into mount. Beautiful, yeah. And I think he's got a really good cross face control. He's probably looking for an Ezekiel. I can't quite see, but it looks to me like he might be either trying to isolate an arm or looking for yeah. Ezekiel choke from the top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, James certainly. framing well, but he needs to get those elbows down. Oh, oh Patrick has taken advantage of a high there elbow to Beautiful. get underneath. Now he's looking for a triangle. He's kind of in a weird position off to the side, isn't he? Yeah, he's on the wrong side of him to, to be finishing off, so it will allow uh, James uh, a little bit of manoeuvre. Yeah, it's almost, if he keeps moving, it's a reverse triangle. If he moves all the way to the back, we call that a reverse triangle. Um, um, and he might well have his arm there, we can't see from this position. Yeah, yeah I think he's, he, he also has the ability to, to uh, oh. isolate that arm, James's right arm, and maybe go for an arm bar here. It's hard to see. I think James there, did. There, yeah. yeah. He, uh, was Is that it, an arm bar? Yeah, I didn't it was see. an arm yeah. bar there. I was thinking, like, you know, he's on the wrong side. So, and, and actually, he could have almost rolled through and, you know, um, to have gotten to the right side of it. But yes. obviously saw the arm yeah. and finished it off. Great stuff. Yeah. Really good match there. Um, yeah. That's why it's all good. Laugh of a tough one. Big double leg takedown there. Sorry, oh, back on. Sorry, but yes, I'm not. So would oh, yeah. Joseph Miller. Um, hang on. Is that right? Are they both militia guys? Oh. Are these, uh, uh, we think that these guys are probably teammates. Yeah. Looks like they're both at that uh, militia Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu team, mm. Raspberry Ape team. Joseph Miller and uh, Christopher Brown. Spock versus Kirk, I mean, <laughs> if they're on the same team. <laughs> I, I, that sounds like nerd stuff to me. I don't know. I, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, I, I know could, what you're talking I could, about. Uh, make it make sense to you with <laughs> lots of other uh, examples of, uh, you know, the brotherhood fighting each other. <laughs> Great stuff. But, you know, it's interesting. If they are from the same team and they're going for it, you yep. know, I'm sure that they're kind of, you know, careful in training back at the club and then here. Well, you know. Yep, both of them want to win. Yeah, and you know when you fight your teammates, mm -hmm. you did, obviously you know it's a you, you, you feel a little bit conflicted. Yeah, but you still want to win. Yeah, because winning is winning. Absolutely, there and, is. 100%. And probably these guys train together, so they might know each other's so games a little no, bit. Yeah, so a little, that's right. You know, there's right. like a meta game happening between the two of them. Face from top position. So it's uh, yeah. Christopher. Christopher's on top at the moment. Joseph's under there. It's hard to tell because they're both wearing the same keys. <laughs> well. Wearing the same gi, both the same height. <laughs> they look kind of similar. Especially when they're tied up and like you know folded up into each other's positions. Yeah. Right. Christopher oh. doing 
doing well to have passed the guard completely now. He's in mount. Uh, and go to the mount position. You yeah. know, mount, mount in the gi is such a dominant position, isn't it? Mm. I mean, in no gi, I'm not the biggest fan of mount. It's just no. my personal yeah, preference. Yeah, I don't like it either. Uh, I don't have the weight or the strength to be able to isolate arms very well. But in the gi, there's so much to hold on to. There's cross chokes, uh, you sinking know. Sinking down the shoulder in, yeah, controlling the head. Just even pushing your, your, your gi into their face yeah. like, by yeah. dropping your chest. <laughs> it can be a really, really effective way to, to, to tire somebody out. Because Joseph here on the bottom is now is having to work really hard to try and get out of this position. So even if he does get out, he's going to be the more tired of the mm. two. Yeah, I'll, I'll I think he's looking for a, there. Looks like he's going for a an Ezekiel choke here. Hasn't quite got his hands inside the gi. It's not it's not a bad thing to go for, you know. It can it can cause the person on the bottom to bring their elbows up and when they bring their elbows up you can yeah, scooch you up. Can start. You can start isolating arms just like he's doing now. Yeah, this is good stuff. Okay. I think he's looking for a triangle. Yeah, maybe bringing that leg through. Yep, yeah, oh, oh, he's just offended by bringing the elbow up, but then yep. has, you know, exposed his elbow. Is really what Joseph wants to do here is keep those elbows super tight. Look for his opportunity to, to, to uh, shrimp out. One minute 30 left in this match. Oh, t a tough one minute 30 for, it is. Um, um, for Joseph. Joseph it, underneath, yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, he's already been there for a few minutes, but it, this is not over, you know. I think um, mm -hmm. uh, one nice thing about escaping from mount is sometimes you can isolate a leg and go for, uh, yeah. you know, it's a quite a good way of getting a leg entanglement if you escape and from mount. And start to kind of like get it back into the half guard and recover the position, yeah. Yep. Although, but, you know... The, Oh, Christopher coming really high here. I, I think um, he needs to be careful. He's lifting his hips up. Uh, and I think uh, if if Joseph was able to get his knees up high, he, he might be able to get back to a knee shield position. Mm. Oh. oh, this is a head and arm position There you here. go. Um, You're looking for the head and arm choke. Yeah, this is heavy. Again, in the gi, there's so much fabric going on. This is a really tough position. And Christopher wants to keep those hips low. He wants to lie down, keeps the hips and head low in order to get the submission. This isn't a fast submission, it's a slow one. Ah, that's right. You know, yeah, and change his leg position in, yeah, into yeah. there, flatten himself out so he kind of brings the shoulders to the floor. Yeah. I think he's just, he's not giving himself enough time in the position. He needs to sit yeah. down into it and relax and squeeze. But he's done very he's well to get there. Bit. Back into mount, I think. Um... Amazing, amazing. You're, you're right though. I mean, I think it's one of those things, isn't it? As you're starting jujitsu, you mm, there's a lot of squeezing, and actually, to be time and progress, you realise it's about sinking in. Yeah. And it's about settling into position slowly. Amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, a relaxed person is a heavy person. Yeah, you know? And if what yeah. you want is heavy on the top, you want to be relaxed. Absolutely. Yeah.
right, we are back now, and I'm joined by the one, the only, Devante here. Correct. Good to see you, brother. How are you doing? Good to see you, too, bro. I'm, I'm great. I'm enjoying the high-level jiu-jitsu that we're watching today. Some Excellent. exciting matches so far. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed we don't aren't able to commentate on some of the other matches happening on match mat two, but maybe that's uh, for the next event. Yeah. So right here we now. go. So James and Bola here. Uh, James in the blue gi and Bola in the black. Lovely foot sweep from Bola. Lovely foot sweep. You love to see a bit of judo. It's so good. You know, you see that a lot in Muay Thai as well. A collar tie to a foot yep. sweep. And yep. It's so effective. James, I've actually had the pleasure of rolling with a few times. He trains at my gym occasionally. He's an army guy. Okay. He's very, very strong, very explosive. Um, he's been in this position many times. I'm sure he'll be comfortable and get out of this. Um, yeah. But let's see. Uh, Bola is uh, doing very well there. He's getting a lot of shoulder pressure in here. Yeah, it looks extremely really, tight. Really, really tight. But James is now framing, trying to get his frames in play. Lovely. Now he's pushing off the hip, clearing that uh, cross face. I see Ebola is pushing a really a, over top of James quite a lot, and I, I don't like to see that. I think um, if James were to frame on Bola's hip, he could roll him here. Correct. Look, he's uh, just like he's trying to do there. Correct. So I think he's oh, committing Bola's, quite a lot of. Oh, Ooh. caught him with an Americana. Lovely. Really quick. I know my bad shoulders, so when somebody tries to go for Americana, I tap like yesterday to yep. that man. Instantly. I didn't see that one coming. Great win from Bola. So that was a that was a quick one. We barely had time to tell any of our jokes. <laughs> Come on, man! You gotta give us more time than that. Here we go. It says Diesel Gym. Um, it's going to be Hakeem. So. Here we go. We got Shane and Abdullah here. Shane is from uh, Diesel Gym, which is uh, 10th Planet. 
And Abdullah is from Sick Fitness Team. Ooh, I like the sound of that one. I like these lightweights, the under 67. This is my weight class. Now, lots of movement. Ooh. Wow. Big foot sweep there. Huge takedown. Abdullah lands in the mount here. A heavy cross face. He's staying low. It's often hard to keep mount when in no gi because there's nothing to hold on to. And, and just as I say that, Shane has managed to get himself back into back quarter into guard. Side. And he's done quite well now to get back into a half guard position. And he's recovered his guard successfully. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very good. Great work. So from a quite disadvantageous position, he's worked his way back into an open guard position. This Shane. Oh, heavy. That was a heavy knee to the face. There. <laughs> <laughs> Very explosive pass in there. Yep. And he's and, back into mount. And he's got a neck here. He's looking for this uh, high elbow guillotine. He's got his hands linked up, but it's hard here in the, uh, because Shane's been able to hand fight and now get back to, again, quarter guard. Looks like he's going to do the same thing again. Move back to half guard. Back to half. You can tell this is a sequence. He's probably drilled a hundred times. Yep. He's so calm when he's mounted. Yep, yep. He's great at recovering that guard. And this is, a, you know, typical of the smaller guys. You, you see them able to get uh, recover the guard a little bit easier, you know, because they can make themselves more compact. They can get their legs into gaps that the bigger guys can't. Yeah, that's annoying. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have many advantages, small guys, but uh, but being able to do that is one of them. And Abdullah again mounts. This is yeah, really dominating here for, for him. And yeah. I think he's learning here that if he if he just puts shoulder pressure down, uh, Shane's quite good at getting back his guard, so he's trying a different tactic. He's uh, going for another guillotine, it looks like. Yeah, but arm and guillotine. This one's deeper. Oh, he's got lovely. it. Lovely. Beautiful submission. Great back and forth, but a very uh, dominant performance overall, yeah. I would say. No, I think you, can, you clearly see Abdullah had a game plan, you know? He oh. went in there, he knew, I'm going to get to mount, I want to pass guard, get to mount. Heavy on top. Uh, and, you know, you like to see that, especially in white belts, you don't see that a lot. And I think that's a credit to him. Yeah, done amazing. So with it, I think um, this is, we've seen both of these guys fight already. Um, I think that... I believe this is a quarterfinals match between Christopher and Amir. Yep. I think Amir lost his first match, but he was a very competitive first match. And I believe Christopher won his first match. So... Hard to hear the ref sometimes when it's uh, noisy like this, isn't it? Yeah, a quick reset and we're back. So now we're back to some hand fighting here. Let's see if there's any judo. Amir elects to pull guard. Yeah. I think Amir was playing a lot of spider guard, collar and sleeve guard in his first match, and I think he's quite confident there. I'd like to see him switch to a cross grip. I think in uh, any kind of collar and sleeve. Oh, oh lovely scissor sweep. Lovely sweep. He's in mount, heavy pressure. Yeah. Christopher's oh. framing off the hip. Christopher's done very well to keep his, keep his way out there. Really good movement on top from the mirror. Really good movement. Especially for a man of that size. Beautiful passing. Yep. This is the uh, heavyweight bracket. Under 94 kilos of the Guillaume. And the mirror getting a heavy cross face from side control. Yep. With a knee on belly. Yeah, and Belly normally scores two points, but uh, here, of course, there's no, there are no, strictly speaking, points, only sub submissions in the fight. Ooh. Really good, a really good heavy hips. He's got a, an excellent floating style. Yeah, you know? very Looks like smooth. he's able to really get his uh, hips to be able to float over top of his opponent here. Looks like he might be trying to isolate an arm. Yeah. Good, and good. Maybe a Brad Carter trick, potentially. Yeah. So I think he's looking to get his, his right arm underneath uh, Christopher's right shoulder here. He can get a paper cutter choke. Uh, Christopher doing well to stay off of his back, try and shrimp out. Maybe uh, north south. Amir doing a great job of just grinding out his opponent. 
letting him feed his weight and really trying to tire him out, yep. hunting for that submission. I think when you're smaller, it's uh, definitely a good idea to wear your opponent out a little bit before you start going for submissions. Absolutely. And now he's taking the back. Looks her in. Yep. Mir looking for... Oh, hasn't quite been able to do it, but has done well to stay on top here. And he has his elbow up, so he could easily go for an arm bar. And I think that's what yeah. he's going to oh, go beautiful. for. It. He's got it. And the ref calls a reset. Oh, unlucky. Just as he got the arm bar. Uh, unlucky, unlucky. Although, you know, he had been calling it. It's hard to hear uh, the ref. You have to really uh, make sure you keep your ears open. Correct. I think he's going to reset them back in the... Um, Mount position. Unlucky for Amir, but he's doing well. I think he'll be all right. I've had the pleasure of watching some of Amir's uh, matches on Mat 2. And um, although he hasn't got the result he wanted, each fight has been very closely fought, and uh, you've seen some great jujitsu from him. He's getting a cross face from Mount. Now, see, he's, he's smart. He's moving him back into the middle because he knew he's had been having some problems. There we go. The Same bar thing. Again. Christopher, ooh, lovely defense. And he goes for that same sweep, but it's yep, unsuccessful. The scissor sweep, yeah. Let's see what his guard is like. Christopher doing the right thing, trying to keep his arm controlled and looking to pass the guard and going to stand up now to try and open that guard. Amir seems to be trying to isolate an arm from the bottom, controlling the ankle. Maybe we're going to see an idiot sweep. That is the name for it, right? The idiot sweep? Uh, that's if he stands up and um, all the way up and using your butterfly hooks, you kick out the ankles. Yeah. I think generally it's done from like a seated guard position. You know, Christopher's done very well. He's, he's, he's not let the fact that he was in a bad position earlier in the match and set him, set him back. He's, he's still fighting. He's still looking to improve his position. So, you know, it's a lot of resilience there. It's very good. See some nice leg pummel in there, but unfortunately, he's back in guard. The man may be looking to get on his side and do... Yes. Like Christopher yeah. stuffed the leg, now they're in half guard. Yeah. 20 seconds left. It'll be interesting to see who the ref decides to give this decision to. Yeah, I think as of now, just positionally, Amir has scored more points. He's been in mount, he's taken the back, so... Correct. And he's got a couple sweeps, so I think, you know, despite the fact that Christopher has done, he's ended this match very strong, I think uh, Amir is going to be the one who's taking this home. Let's see how the ref decides to score this. Be awarded to. <laughs> Great performance from Amir. You know, before it went out of bounds, um, I believe there was another second or two, he probably would have got the submission from I the armbar. I think you're right, yep. You're absolutely right. That's a great win from him. Okay, this one. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, Amir. Very much. How was that for you? You like you, you like you wanted, you had something to prove in that one. Yeah, I mean, I think on the last one, I felt a bit. I was a bit disrespectful to the ref, so I apologised yeah. to him as well. My coach told me, you know, have fun, enjoy it, you know, don't lose your heart like you did in the last one. So that's what I did. I kept my heart and. Yeah, just went for it. I think that really showed. Uh, what things did Christopher show you that was quite difficult? Um, do you know what? When I was, I think throughout the whole tournament, my open guard I could tell that I was lacking a bit. You know, they could have took advantage of some weaknesses. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to go back and improve that, definitely. Well, congratulations. You got your third place. So let me give you your medal. Hey, May, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations.
Okay, coming up next, we have our super heavies. We've got Tolabishi representing Czech fight, Czech Mat Fight Zone London, going up against Patrick Fisher representing Apex Jiu Jitsu. a super heavyweight match i believe this is the finals we've got tola bishi from chat mat fight zone london against patrick fisher from the renowned apex jiu-jitsu here we're seeing some nice grip fight in here and the ref resets them in the middle Some hand fighting, grip fighting. Looks like Patrick's got the uh, dominant grips. He's got a sleeve grip at the moment and he's blocking uh, Tola's attempts to get anything going really. He's taking the back. Ooh, that leg could have bent the wrong way. Fortunately, it didn't. <laughs> We're now seeing some heavy pressure from Patrick Fisher. Heavy pressure from that, uh, I believe he's in the half guard. It's hard to tell from this position. He's playing that cross face, and he's really trying to drive that weight into Tola, making yeah. him feel how heavy he is. He has um, deceptively long arms. I didn't expect him to reach <laughs> so far behind <laughs> to get onto the floor like that. I did not expect that. There is a bit of a height disparity, but I didn't expect his arms to reach literally the whole of It's like one arm almost went all around him. <laughs> Almost like he reached him from the other side of the mat. Yeah. Tolder's doing the right thing. He's framing off the hip. And Patrick just grinding it out, tiring out his opponent. Tolder's trying to frame off of the face, create some space, work an escape of some sort, but... Yeah, Patrick's really trying to make him feel his way, really trying to grind him out. Yeah, you know, I think Patrick's very good at fighting big, isn't he? He's, he's got the height advantage on the guys in this division, it's clear. And he's he knows how to use that height to his advantage. Very well, very, yeah. very well. And I think, um, you know, Tola, both of these guys won their earlier matches, right? So I, I believe this is probably the gold medal match for this division. I could be wrong. It is, it is. And, uh, and I think um, both of them have a... A, a good game, but I think Tola didn't really want to be on the bottom here. I think probably he would have preferred to be on top if he had, if he, Tola had had the opportunity to make that choice. He's got a lockdown on that leg, so he's he knows it's going to be very difficult here for Patrick to move forward because of that lockdown. So he really needs to work at getting that cross face off his face. I think it's he's holding it down on his face right now. He needs to get those hands in in underneath him. You know, he's got to work hard, especially his left his left arm here is no good this high. He needs it to get it down. There we go. That's a bit better. Covered that guard well. You know, at this weight, uh, I've competed at super heavyweight and ultra heavyweight a few times, and guys generally at this size, they don't want to be on the bottom. No. So yeah. it'll be interesting yeah. to see what sort of guard, if he goes for a submission or if he just tries to sweep him and play from the top. Patrick doing a great job though, neutralizing everything that Tola's doing, keeping yep. him flat on his back, applying heavy pressure. He's now hooked a leg. So again, Tola cannot let him elevate that left elbow up. He's got to get that left elbow down, or his right elbow rather, back down again. As long as as long as Patrick is able to keep that right elbow up, Tola's not going to be able to get out of this position. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, from this position, there's potentially an electric chair sweep that uh, Tola can get if he's able to underhook uh, Patrick's oh, right leg. Oh, and he's going for an Americana here. again. We saw him finish this last time. Yeah, oh, uh, Patrick needs to bring his right elbow in. If he brings his right elbow in, he can probably finish this. It's going to be real close. Seeing some wincing on his face at the moment. This might be, might be tight. Yeah, his hands are all tied up here, so it's hard to tap. Oh, oh! 
on a great escape. Very good escape, but he's given up his back. So a short time here. Patrick showing really, really good, you know, simple, basic jujitsu moves here. He's not overcomplicating anything. Um, Tola's got that size disadvantage. Just under 20 seconds to go. I think we've seen a very dominant performance from Patrick so far. He's still going for the finish too. He's got a cross choke from the back. He's crossing on that. his feet though. Great match. That's a gold medal. Well done, Patrick. He wins a gold medal in the heavyweight division in the gi for white belts. Congratulations. What was the name, sorry? Patrick! Patrick! for this one, Tola. Oh, Tola, congratulations. So you didn't get to the, the gold, but how are you feeling? Fought this guy so much bigger than me. Yeah. But yeah, I defended the takedown well. I'm happy with that. I thought at the beginning you seemed to be more active and for the first minute and a half you seemed to have more of the dominance. What changed there? Wait. That was it. Yeah. I was trying to sweep him, he had good base, so I was waiting for him to rest before I went. Yeah. He was just heavy. Just heavy? Yeah. Super. I like you, but you still got the silver, so congratulations. To the beach, everyone. Okay. Congratulations. Um, Patrick Fisher is... I think Patrick is getting changed. So congratulations to Patrick, this is your medal. Um, I'll hand this over, over to you a bit later. But we're gonna go into our next match, our final game match actually. So representing London Fight Factory, we have Lanre, and representing Gracie Baha, we have Matthew. Thank you. <laughs> Ethan. 
Yeah, I've got them. Lanray. Okay, uh, back on the mats. I've uh, got Lanray Agbeje from uh, London Fight Factory and Matthew uh, Zianren Lee from Gracie Baha Oval. Um, we've already seen the pair of them in action. I thought that, um, who is it, Matthew kind of had some really kind of good, just basic techniques. Went from close guard um, to went to an armbar attempt. He went to a triangle attempt. We've seen uh, Lanray just big and heavy, powerful. Look at those thighs on him. Yeah, he looks jacked, man. I wouldn't want <laughs> yeah. to fight him if no, I was a white belt. I, I just sort of like met him in the corner over there, and he's got his uh, tank top on. He's got the hood up, and I, I dared to say hello and he just smiles so he's all right so uh, <laughs> in this situation i wouldn't like to be uh, where, like where matthew is fast. Needs, bring, possibly he needs to bring that foot through he's kind of in a little bit of trouble there i think if yeah. uh, matthew just if he goes the wrong way you could yeah. talk his knee in yeah exactly. in, a, in a bad way You know, I look at things like, you know, is there too much strain on the knee? That, that, that's my uh, oh, worries he's, these days. Oh, that's it, he's passed it. Kicked that leg free now, he's under side control and he's applying that heavy pressure. Mm. A big explosion from Matthew to trying to frame off of him. But Lanway just adjusts really well. No, that foot's causing him a little bit of trouble. It's really quite difficult to get past. And I think Matthew's done well to kind of um, not regard, but at least get back into a more neutral position. Oh, there we go. Uh, he's lost it again. Lanray steps over into side control on the other side. It seems he was going for a, um, a, a mount there, and actually, what we're seeing as well today is maybe a little bit of a, you know, rush to get into the mount and not, you know, people like getting the foot caught up and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, this He's is good. Of, yeah, this addressing is nice. everything yeah. that Matthew's doing. He's broken the grips. And there's heavy hips in there, isn't there? Matthew's doing everything right from the bottom. Mm. He keeps getting his grips broken. And the grip breaks. You know, they're powerful. You know, it's hard to really build up some momentum on your opponent when you can't even get a grip. Yeah. I always say that the grip fighting is the first stage of, of any fighting, yeah, really. Yeah, absolutely. He needs to readjust his uh, left hand there. And a lovely oh, back step yeah, into side control. Beautiful. He's also got the arm trap between the legs. He could potentially use that to set up a submission. Mm. to get his hand to the other side of uh, the head. Heavy pressure from Lanway, just under yeah. two minutes to go. Let's see if we can see a submission from either of these. Matthew's doing a great job of staying calm and waiting for his mm. moment to explode. Mm. You know, with a lot of white belts, we see, you know, it's just pure athleticism, explosion, yeah. explosion, explosion. But Matthew's, he seems really calm and composed. I like that from him. Yeah, I do as well. I, think, I, I, th I also think it's probably quite a Grace and Barha thing. That's just, again, it's sort of like it's standard jujitsu positions, which he's kind of looking to kind of work his way out of saying that. They're very difficult to get out of when you've got somebody uh, as big and strong as Lanray and his heavy hips. Especially when they know what they're doing. Yeah, and he's, uh, you know, he's kind of countering everything that's happening. He's now got a deep grip on the collar, and the ref has decided to reset them in the middle, I think, from side control. Adjusting themselves back in side control in the middle of the mat and off they go again. A minute to go. I think it's all on uh, Matthew at the moment, really, to uh, do something if he wants to kind of save this. Um, uh, Lambro's been working really hard all the way through the match. Really hard, applying a lot of pressure. Yeah. I think he's controlled him positionally throughout. There, he's now there, stepped there, into there, the lovely. mount. Lovely skydiver, driving him heavy hips into the, uh, yeah. the stomach of Matthew. And this is really fatiguing. If you've ever been in this position, you'll know how much this drains your, your mm. battery. 
Especially that, that kind of cross collar there, just uncomfortable, really hard. He can't turn his head back too easily. It's now got a nice uh, collar grip underneath the chin of Matthew. Matthew's got an arm extended, potentially giving up an arm bar, and yeah. it looks like, oh, no, he's bailed on that yeah, idea. Yeah, I think uh, Lanray needs to kind of work his way up a little bit further before he starts to... To, to attack the arm, he needs to kind of be much more sort of like, um, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh lovely. <laughs> yeah. A great performance from them both. Oh, good. Landry's come up though. Uh, sorry, Matthew's come up with just a big smile on his face because he knows that was a tough match. Tough match. Uh, Landry's kind of bouncing to his feet as well. Excellent stuff. Who would you give it to? I'm going to give it to uh, Landry. I think. I, I Should agree I with that be saying that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, worked all hard all the way through it. Lovely, great competition between the pair of them as well. Lovely fight, and uh, Landry is the gold medalist. Matthew. Walks away with a very hard earned silver medal. Great fight. Tired. What was it that Landry had there for you? Sorry. What was what, what was it that Landry had there for you? What did you find difficult? He's got a good top pressure, man. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. What was your game plan coming into it? Want to try to go for X, overhook X, maybe get a maybe get a straight ankle lock or something. But he was too good at it. I just couldn't get to it. So it's good. A great performance for you otherwise. And lucky you didn't get to this one, but you still got a silver medal. So yeah, let me give this to you, Matthew. Thank you very much, man. No Congratulations, man. Cheers. Landry. Our winner, representing London Fight Factory. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Tired, I'm tired, man. But yeah, feeling all right. Feeling good. What was your What was your game plan coming into into the finals for Matthew? Um, game plan was just you know stay calm, stay heavy on top, because yeah. I knew I saw in his previous fight that he pulled guard, you know. So I was just trying to stay on top, just ride what he was bringing, break the grips, and then just try and pass, and then let it go from there. Really. Were there any um, submissions that you wanted to catch for him? For him? Uh, no, I didn't have any. So I was, but I was just thinking, right, if I get to mount, then something would open up. So I feel like when he was getting tired, he was bridging a lot. And maybe I could go for the arm, but I didn't manage to get the sub. So, yeah, it was unfortunate. Fair enough. Well done to you nonetheless. You still show that pressure. Congratulations, Lanry. Lanry, everybody. Now representing Diesel Gym, we have Shane Mason, and he'll be going up against Samir Manji representing Nick Brooks, BJJ. Back up, okay. We're back on the mats. We've got uh, Nogi, uh, 67.5 featherweight, Shane Mason from Diesel Gym, and uh, Samir Manji from the Institute of Grappling. Do you know any of them, nor either of them? I believe Diesel Gym is affiliated with the Temp Planet Gym. So I'm okay. expecting to see some of the intricate, maybe some rubber guard stuff, dead orchard stuff. Yeah. Um, um, and I know that the Institute of Grappling is uh, head coach is uh, party bear Ed, Ed Ingemels, who's um, another ex Mill Hill guy, um, uh, absolute monster and leg lock specialist. I mean, seriously. So, and Samir, I've known for a number of years actually. Um, and he's been training at Mill Hill, and then he went on to the Institute of Grappling. Um, you know, I've, I've got high hopes for him. He's, uh, they, they, they do good jiu-jitsu down there. He looks Ooh. like he's attacking an armbar. Just needs to get that leg that. over beautiful. the head. Beautiful. That was a beautiful transition, though. What was his second armbar attempt? Yeah. The first one was pretty close as well.
Yeah, just uh, reposition in the middle of the mats as they kind of span out. Uh, Starting from a uh, close guard position. Hands up. Let's open up the guard. Smith uh, just framing really well there, keeping uh, Shane away. Inverted now. Oh, lovely. Oh, got the arm again. Oh. Yeah, we're seeing that, aren't we? The, the arms, he's looking for those arms coming in. He's definitely looking for an armbar. Yeah, no, 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 I feel like he's... Uh, oh. If I was Samir, I'd be looking to try and keep my arms tight, T-Rex my arms, and try not to give anything up, really. Keep your elbows close. Oh, no, keep your enemies close and your elbows close. <laughs> oh, and the Kimura attempt. Oh, oh and a lovely, lovely oh, defense. Oh, and then straight back into an armbar attempt there. Flipping over. Wow. Beautiful wow. scramble. Oh, and oh. it looks very deep now. Incredible defense. Oh, amazing. Hard to believe that these guys are white belts. <laughs> no, no, seriously, isn't it? This is really good I mean, they're transitioning. Like, I mean, what was that? It was like an armbar, Kimura, back tack, all those kind of you know, transitions and escapes from them as well. I think these guys are a testament to the gyms they come from. Yeah, absolutely. Not many white belts move like that. I certainly mm. needed that white belt. No. So it looks like Shane's kind of trying to isolate the far arm there, maybe going for a Kimura attempt. Yeah, like hands an going under. Americana. Oh, they're up. But he needs the elbow on the other side of the head. It's, it's very hard to finish yeah. this when you've got the. Um... Especially from there. Oh, yeah, so Samir, well done. Samir's fought it out and he's. Regard. Oh, and he's going for his counter. This is a brilliant match. Really yeah, high paced stuff. Yeah. You know, some of these smaller guys, it's really explosive and mm. really good back and forth. Just the flexibility of them there. We hear the coach calling for a key guard entry. Oh, I heard that as well there. Uh, his coach, Ed Breverton, is uh, brown belt under uh, Ed as well, uh, Institute of Grappling. We will see him on the mats a bit later on. Great, great grappler. Looking great forward guy. to that. Yeah, should be good fun when we're watching him fight. I'm surprised he's calling for a king guard on, on a white belt. It's not a position you see many white belts no. do. No, but that's kind of really a testament to what kind of goes on at um, uh, the Institute, that they, they are looking at advanced positions. And, you know, Samir, as far as I know, has been training for a good number of years. And, you know, it's a slow process. It's, uh, you know, the fruits will ripen like, over time at uh, the Institute, I think. So I say, at the moment, I think, you know, being a submission only um, match, I, I'm looking at... Oh, he got it, he got it! Incredible. Really have it. Didn't actually see that there. Was that an Americano, potentially? I think so. Uh, what was it? Let's see if we can get a replay on that. That was a very good submission. Very sneaky. Hello, who's that?
Well, we're back on the mats. Um, Adam uh, Boski versus Matthew. Uh, I don't want to mess up his name. Matthew. But we see Matthew against, uh, I see. believe it was Lanry earlier. So we know oh, he's a great tough guy. Yeah. Bit of a leg battle going on. Ooh, and there's Whoa. a straight foot. We didn't even get to finish kind of introducing the pair of them. That was Adam Bowskill from SOAS uh, BJJ. Um, and uh, Matthew, who's already had sort of like that two or three fights so this morning. That was a cracking. You know, sometimes um, your opponent's pressure than you and they catch you in the fatigues and things like that can happen, but a great footwork from them both. Mm. It seems like they were both attacking legs. Yeah, it? yeah. It's just lovely. The elbow there was kind of looking around. The foot was, I think we could see it really kind of curving around the body.
Okay, we're back on the, the, the mats. We've got Samir, um, where are we? Samir Manji from the Institute of Grappling. He's already won his first match. And very sneaky sub. <laughs> very sneaky sub, which I didn't quite see. And he's uh, fighting Abdullah Ib Hakim. Uh, sorry, Abdullah Ib Hakim from uh, SCK Fitness Team. Um, oh. Lovely. A little sweep, Hakim's back up. I feel like um, uh, uh, Samir is, is very much a guard player. Kind of looks, his game looks a little bit familiar. I don't know if you know him, uh, too agile for a fat boy. Um, the name sounds the very name familiar. sounds familiar to you, doesn't it? Uh, Adam, Adam uh, is it Yakubi? He fought one of my... Uh, teammates yesterday. Oh really? Oh really? Right, okay. Um, I knew I recognised that Instagram handle. I knew, I knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those guys will train together and okay. what I'm seeing in, in Samir is a little bit of that. You know, and it's interesting because it, it's like the different schools have, you know, almost different focuses. So when you go to the Institute of Grappling, you're going to see a lot of, um, you know, the, the kind of on the back, spinning upside down, going for the legs. Um, I think, you know, uh, resistance, there's a lot of pressure, guard passing, you know, kind of good old school techniques and stuff. And I'm sure that other clubs have other focuses as their instructors are that way inclined as such. Looks like a Kimura attempt from um, Samir, potentially. He's really great at hunting those arms, man. <laughs> You've got to protect your arms against him. Yeah. <laughs> Very much what you're saying as well. I'm, I'm seeing some great play from him, like... I think we said it before when the, when the mics were off, but I, I really don't think this guy behaves or moves or even thinks like a white belt. Mm. I'm seeing some high level stuff from him, a lot of inversions, you know, K-Guard, Armbar, Kimura. He changed the subs really well. Yeah. And even here, he's a great job at keeping... Yeah. Um, just the frames in there with the arms, you know, just... Keeping Abdullah from, you know, passing his guard and solidifying that position. Yeah. Really good at keeping that space between, oh, uh, might have been needing the head there. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Hope he's okay. Mm. You know, it's kind of almost to be expected at some level, isn't it? The, the frenetic nature of the younger guys as they're spinning from position to position. Kind of easy to get a, you know, maybe a knee in the head or a shin or something like that. Hopefully yeah. he's going to be okay. But obviously, it's, uh, that looks, it looks like he's in a great deal of pain. Mm. The medic just uh, turned into him. It looks like he's been needing the, the back of the head yeah. from where he's holding. This is uh, very painful, very debilitating. You can leave mm. you feeling confused. After they're getting some advice from his uh, from his corner. Nice to see as well. Uh, first aid um, straight onto the mats there. You know, uh, good, good that NC have got that all organised and uh, you know, safety first. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Well, he really did take a hit to the head, didn't he? I mean, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know. I think that sting of getting hit in the head like that. Especially when you're not expecting it. Mm. Looks like um, 
We may have a small break and probably mm. get back to it. Let's hope so. It was, uh, it was a great match. We seem to see uh, Samir going out, uh, you know, due to injury. I'm sure he will be okay. I mean, this is the finals. That's two minutes thirty left. Um, ah, and Samir's already won one fight, hasn't he? Mm. Yeah, this is for the gold medal. So neither guy wants to give it up. Yeah. There's such a high chance of injury in here that it's um, it's great that actually it is taken as seriously as this. He might just we might just be able to say, no, oh, I got bumped to the head, but actually those things can prove quite serious. So it's really um, you know, so I think it, again, as sport evolves, you know, from the back rooms where people used to just fight and uh, you know anything goes to. You know, proper set up with um, professionals who, who know how to take care of uh, injured fighters. Really important for the future of the sport. Really important. Mm. It's great to see that he's getting the, uh, the care and attention yeah. that he deserves. This is reminiscent of uh, Aljamain Sterling and uh, Peter Jan <laughs> with the knee to the head. Just, I'm just getting flashbacks of that. It really? It's very similar. <laughs> and the impact to the back of the head, though, is, yeah, is, is yeah, very yeah. serious, and it's not something you should take lightly. And it looks like we're back. Excellent. Really good to see that um, somebody's uh, still back on the mats. They've gone, they've pulled guard. Mm. 
Oh, a nice minor delay. I hope we give uh, Samir a little bit more time to kind of uh, get back into the game, make sure his head's okay. We're back. I, I think Abdullah's looking hungry here as well. Two you minutes know. to go. Samir immediately back on his back. He's got a nice De La Hiva there. Yeah. He's, he's moving nicely from side to side, though. Both of them, they're just so Both good, these okay, kids. Oh, entry. oh there, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is classic, classic IOG stuff in there. High level, man, high yeah. level. But I think as white belts are not allowed to, are they? They're, they're still kind of at least... Uh, I think it depends on what they use it for. Mm. Obviously, knee bars and uh, hip hooks are no go yeah, for them. But yeah, that's it, isn't it? Oh, okay, so transition, sorry, yeah. And, uh, oh, it's wow. been mounted. Did not expect to see that. And that squeeze has got to be applying pressure to his head that's already yeah, injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be feeling that. Oh, now he's off. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's gone. I well feel done. like um, just there, for me, kind of all just didn't have anything in him. And the, um, I think the mount came just almost it's sort of like that. Was, I think his energy's left. Him. Yeah. 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 Beginning of the end, quick mount. You know, squeezing the head when you've mm. potentially got a headache it can't be it can't be great. So yeah, he's still kind of looking around himself a little bit. I'll back. I missed just for those actually. Uh, they will use this camera just for those at home. What and um, what happened to the back of your head there? Oh no, I just got knee. It was an accident. Yeah. But at the moment, it was quite. I thought it could have been worse than it was. So yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Just a couple, a little minute break. A couple minutes and all good. Bit of an ice pack. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you feel like it affects your performance at all? No, no. Uh, just my cardio wasn't there. Right. That's all on me. Yeah. Do you feel he um Abdullah had overpowered you with the cardio? Is that what it was? Yeah. I feel like technically. I didn't feel that outdone, but just the cardio yeah. for me was quite bad, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Congratulations on the list. You'll get your silver medal. Mm -hmm. everybody, congratulations. How you doing, bro? Bad, thanks. Congratulations. You're smiling, happy. Yeah, yeah, happy, man. It was, uh, it was a good match. Yeah. Good match. Got, had to get the work done. You're very, very, very speedy. Yeah. Was, is that what you want to do? Was, did you want to focus on your speed to gain the advantage there? Just, just putting on pressure. Just yeah. don't wanna, don't wanna waste the seconds I have. I like that mentality. Were there, was there any difficulties that he, Samir had shown you at all? Um, he had a good, uh, good knee shield. Yeah. It was a good knee shield that made it a bit difficult to pass. Yeah. But then you just have to keep that, like, getting past that. That was, the, that was the main issue, yeah. Amazing. Congratulations, nonetheless. Winner of your bracket. Well done, Mel. <laughs> right, coming up next for our male nogi, we have Adam Bowskill up against Christopher Brown. Uh, we're back on the mats. Adam Bolski from uh, Soaz BJJ and Christopher Brown from Militia Jiu-Jitsu. Um, we saw a beautiful footlock from Adam earlier. Yeah, Let's yeah. See how and that was really quick, wasn't it? Really quick, lightning quick. <laughs> Competitors almost crashed into the cameraman. Yeah. Let's see uh, some hand fighting here. Guys aren't wanting to. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good to see the referee doing a bit of refereeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important the competitors understand the rules. It's for their Absolutely. safety at the end of the day. Absolutely, it is. And a nice little. Uh, yeah, he's a tough fighter. The. Um, um, Adam. Adam. Adam's kind of, yeah, I can see. Look. Is he it's isolated like the arm on the other side? Working for a shoulder clamp, maybe? Yeah. Oh, and a oh. triangle. A triangle is He hasn't got a good bite. He needs to put his other foot on the hip. He needs and to take that really create yeah. that angle. He's got the underhook on the right. Oh. 
I think Chris has got a good opportunity here. Stack him, the to try and get the arm out. He needs to get the angle correct. He should probably think about transitioning to an armbar yeah. while he can. And I think it's, you know, Adam's really... Oh, oh I need to oh. Wow. Another quick finish for Adam. Very good. Incredible triangle. Very focused on uh, his, again, white belts, man. Great stuff. Yeah. So we've seen him um, finish with a, uh, a foot lock or, uh, or an Ioki lock uh, earlier on, and he's just finished off with um, a triangle there. Uh, Very impressive stuff. I think he actually trains possibly, you know, because he's so as, I'm assuming that he probably comes up and rolls with Marcus, and certainly Jeff will be his uh, teacher. Jeff is the uh, yeah, our other commentator, of course. Ah, uh, he's yes. He's kind of like the, the instructor down at uh, Soas. Yeah. Okay, we've got a next match. We've got, I know, a couple of teenagers here. We've got Anton Brinkman from Ali Pali, BJJ, uh, versus AJ Tulib from, I think it is, from Apex. On a lovely Tayatoshi um, from AJ there. Beautiful judo throw. Oh, 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 we've got an injury here. Looks like we might have an arm break from breaking the full wrong. Possibly.
So it turns out that the out of the cow. Still not quite sure which cow he was at. He was actually fighting for uh, the logo on the top, but then realised it said Guardians of the Galaxy. So unless it is from outer space,
Imran Ahmed uh, from BJJ, sorry, from St. Alden, Submission Grappling and Francisco, uh, Francisco to open him up again and get him back onto his side. Looks like he's um, trying to sink his head in the guilty, but unfortunately one head came up. And we're back to the pass. Francisco has got the underhooks and then Imran managed to get his hand back in, but Francisco has probably been able to um, subdue that one and then to look to take his back up. seconds left on the clock. Reset by the referee in the middle of the mats. Single leg position. Francisco just weighing down. Collapsing it as 
City himself in the mill. It's going to be a tough one to score this one. They've both been uh, uh, backwards and forwards. Oh, and there we go. Got the goal there. each other before um, so uh
ankle, arms with the leg, looking good. Francisco, uh, Francisco or Fajardo uh, from Alexandra Park, VJJ and Rico Coya from, uh, where's that, Roll Deep Acad VJJ Academy. Uh, we're just eyeing each other up at the moment. Rico gone for the leg. Francisco gone for the head, he's let that go. Scrambling around a little bit, he's trying to go for the guillotine at the beginning, locking up his hands. And Rico just steps back and releases his head. Both of them are kind of getting ready to start. Rico going for the uh, front head and the guillotine again. It's all going on, we've still got uh, clearing something up on that while and we've got Francisco with a little cut on the back of his head now. Stop the action.
Okay, the um, action back underway on mat two. Francisco's got his head uh, bandaged up, kind of quite affection with the moustache. Uh, the fight needs to continue. Oh, well, he's got a chin strap there as well. Finally, they've got to the floor. Gap there for uh, Francisco to uh, lock in the kimono. Gonna have to work hard. Big oh, no. Yeah, he's gonna have to get in there and really kind of like can open his body. Rico being a, a big strong fellow. What's in right there? Driving his shoulder. Releases the arm, Rico straight into uh, an overhead wrap. It's possibly um, the guillotine, it's not going to happen. It's kind of lost his position, and the strike needs to release the head. Yeah, he needs to release the head there.
And hello to those watching at home. It is Mikel here representing the entity open no gi and gi edition we are currently just taking a quick break waiting for our next matchup remember this is powered by myriad studios the one and only shout out to the ronin make sure to like comment and subscribe share this amazing event our next event is on december the 9th so get signing up now december 9th Get signing up. Yes, we're, I believe we are just sorting out one of the mats. And then. I'm just sorting out one of the cameras at the moment. You see Jack on the screen there. Let us know in the comments. What are your favorite, what are your favorite um, submissions, you know? Joining us back is the Conte. Hey, Jim, bro. Busy day. Busy day. Busy day. Unfortunately, we've seen a few injuries, but that is a sport of jiu-jitsu. Most definitely. Anything can happen at any time. Yep. Protect yourself at all times. Sound like her being there. Protect yourself at all times. But yeah, luckily we've got, you know, Trained medical professionals on, on, on hand. Obviously, the ambulance here, very speedy, and you know, the athletes are getting dealt with in the correct way. We'll take this opportunity to wish, uh, I believe his name's Anton, wish him a speedy recovery. Yeah. It's only 16, had a very uh, start with a very competitive, exciting fight, but unfortunately it ended in, uh, in an injury. Yeah. But he's almost up. Brave man Anton just started his GCSEs, but shout out to him. He's on his way. name but he is representing Czech Matt Jiu Jitsu. Come for the fight zone man. I believe this is a semi or quarter finals match. Blue belt lightweight. some nice hand fighting and a nice little dock under there. It wasn't successful though, but it was a great attempt. Here's a heavy collar tie. Uh, just a reminder, what belts are these? These are blue belts. Blue belts, right. And this is the quarterfinals. You win this, you're on to the semis. The shot at getting the gold in the finals. Lovely little snap down there. And it's like at this stage, these guys are feeding each other around. Good stuff, but it's no, but carried all the way through. Nice. 
very nice takedown. We've seen some heavy pressure. He's got a knee shield and he needs to try and pass this. That can be very tricky to, uh, to deal with sometimes. He's back in the half guard. He seems happy with keeping him there. And he's just abandoned the position and now they're back on their feet. And a lovely ankle pick attempt, but it didn't work, it was unsuccessful. Lucky one for Giddity, he snapped him down. He's in on the turtle, and oh, 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 oh. Great roll by these two. This is a very high-paced, exciting match to watch. I know you were oh. preparing to compete. We went out there anyway, put on a great show. In. Um, I felt good, you know. I literally just had just had the you know little bit of gear in the in the bag just in case. I told Marcus, yeah, in case anything happens today, just let me know, just for fun. But lo and behold, started the shot, so just jumped in. The match was great. Lovely. Um, it was actually great. I, I fully enjoyed the, the the experience. I'd say I don't really compete. I don't compete at all. I don't really train. So it was a great experience. Um, hats off to my opponent as well. Unfortunately, didn't get that guillotine at the end. Maybe should have put that match to six minutes. <laughs> you know, like, should have made it might have just done a little bit of justice. But nonetheless, had a, um, a great match. And surprisingly, I didn't come out as tired as I expected to be. You got great cardio. Yeah, it was all right. It was actually felt all right. With me. So five minutes, it actually flew past. Five That's minutes great. does fly, fly past when you're on the map. Tends to be the, uh, the opposite. Generally speaking, um, for most guys, so that just speaks highly of your conditioning, you know. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm not watching. I'm seeing a nice single attempt to make it. Can you try and turn now? Yeah! yeah. 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 Taking the back, but no. He gets uh, sat down on his back, in fact. Still holding that leg there. Maintain his position. Look, he's tempting him. Remember to join us tomorrow for the Entity Aftermath show. We've got that running, myself and Marcus will be, well, the Ronin will be going over some of the highlights of today's matches. So make sure to tune into that and, you know, put on your notifications, press that bell. I'm sure, it'll start about 12.30 tomorrow, roughly. Be good for everyone to tune in, tell us what your favourite matches were. About 45 seconds left of this bout. Who do you think has got this at the moment? It doesn't mean so much um, submission attempts, but... At the moment, do you feel anyone's really needing this? I don't want to say the wrong name. <laughs> nah, I don't want to do my opponent um, discharge this <laughs> and say, pronounce his name wrong, but um, the guy in the red yeah. seems to be pushing the pace a bit more. Um, I've seen him attack a bit more, yeah. trying to pass the guard a bit more. I've seen some great wrestling from them both, yeah. great scramble from them both. Um, personally, I think the person in the red seems to be winning, but Admittedly, if it went to the person in the black, you know, it'd be hard to argue either way, you know. This is a very close, tough walk match. Yeah. Uh, and I'll be excited to see, you know, there's only 10 seconds left. I'll be excited to see what way the rest is at, you know. There's not much to be um, expected for us. Finally, five seconds, we're going to see some action. And it's just ended there.
Jiu-Jitsu London against Abdul Zeki from 10th Planet London. And Cooper really showing how flexible he is. Sorry, Abdullah showing how flexible he is. Incredible guard attention from him. Now we set in in the uh, headquarters position. A lovely guard pass attempt, but it's unsuccessful. We have Kuba from Poland. Now in the guard. Seeing some nice hand fighting here. From Abdullah. Kuba decides to stand to open that guard, but as he does, Abdullah opens and closes it back. needs to happen here is Abdullah needs to find a way to break Kuba's posture so he's within range of some attacks and submissions. From here it's pretty hard to um, submit the opponent. Unless you're going for like a hit bump sweep where you're going to push them backwards. When the opponent's posture is quite high up it's, it's very hard to attack them. The flip side is um, you know when they push the back this far it does leave openings for other entry points and other sweeps. It really depends on some of the We're seeing some more hand fighting here going on. Kuba stood up, the guard's now open, and he's trying to pass around Abdullah. Some lovely passing Abdullah turtles. And Kuba successfully gets the pass. He's inside control and he's applying a nice cross face, really driving that weight in, and then Abdullah feel his weight. To a nice shoulder of justice, which is forcing his opponent to turn away from him, look away from him, whilst exposing the back. And it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm. Abdullah's getting his frames in play. Cobra's now stripped off, and it looks like he's isolating an arm. He's setting up an attack here. Maybe the Americana might be on the way. Abdullah looks to be panicking. And it was a lovely back attempt, but Abdullah's exploded out of that. He's now in Cooper's guard. Two minutes to go. Can you see something? These guys are very explosive. It's like a guillotine attempt from Cooper. trying to pass that guard, he's managed to stuff a leg down, so he now, now only has one leg to deal with. Abdullah's got a knee shield, but Cobra skips right past that, gets to the north-south. Hunting for that armbar, but the time just runs out on him, amazing match from him as Amazing match. And Cobra gets the win by way of referee decision. 
Personally, I think that was the right call. He seems to be a bit more aggressive. He's attacking a lot more. It was a very good back and forth match between the two. Now. Are you calling me just now? Yeah, yeah I was asking for them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how's it? Hmm? How's it been? Yeah. Unfortunate incident. Huh?
and welcome back to map one. We took a bit of a break. Uh, young Anton has been seen by the emergency services. He's now headed to the hospital and he's gonna be okay. So we are now uh, watching a blue belt match. Rajan Shwarma from Sharma from the Gauntlet Fight Academy and Ferris Hassanin from Gracie Baha, Bradley Stoke. So I'm going to assume that Ferris is the is the one on top because he's wearing a bit Gracie Baha uh, rash guard. So Ferris has uh, got a forearm across Rajan's throat there. It didn't seem to bother him too much, but that can be a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, looking like he's locking up a triangle here. And he's got the arm bar. Oh, maybe. Oh, the unlucky, unlucky. Resets unlucky. them okay. just as he's got the triangle fully locked in. Oh, he's bleeding. <laughs> he's bleeding. And we have a decision, uh, victory from Farris by way of injury, submission, I'm not quite sure. Well, well we're going to find out in a moment. Uh, referee, was that a submission win or a decision win? Or I don't think he said yes yet.
Nice. <laughs> Fair play. And a disqualification yeah. win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, what was the names? Yeah, let me have a quick look. Which was the... Um, is it Rajan and Faris? And Fa who was it who won it? Faris. I believe uh, Faris won that match. Okay, so Faris had the uh, triangle, didn't he? Rajan won. Rajan had the... Okay, so, viewers, uh, it's just getting a bit complicated. It's been a, a bit of a kind of a busy day. So, Rajan won because Faris had him in a triangle, really tight, was locked in, and then slammed in the triangle. In the process, he cut his own head, and the referee decided that the slam was a slam and DQ'd him. So not only did he get cut, he also got DQ'd, which is the name of the game. Not the way you want to end your fight, but yeah, it's the name of the game, like you said. Yeah, there's a lot of excited people.
And we're back. Oh, we just saw a lovely foot Kuba, sweep. Kuba is, I think, going to lock this up here. Very quick rear naked choke win. Kuba is on a mission today. He is. Second impressive win I've seen from the, the man from Poland. <laughs> Great jujitsu from him. Nice embrace from my assume his mom. Yes, I'm sure she's happy. I'm just happy that nobody, you know, got a cut or got injured. We seem to be having some bad luck today. <laughs> We've seen quite a few injuries. So on mat two, it looks like we have a heavyweight, heavyweight match happening. From memory, I believe the guy on the bottom is a super heavyweight. Is he? His name Patrick or no, not Patrick. Looks like we've got a James and an Alwyn. I can't quite see the names. Yes, Alwyn Baker. Is that the guy on the bottom? Yes, yes. Okay. I've seen him. Uh, so today he's hit two submissions from the Kesakatami position. Okay. Um, he seems to be a huge fan of that. Pulled guard early on. It looks like he may have started off this match the same way. Yep. It's going to turtle. But James has got a really good uh, chin strap, looks like to me. Looks like he's trying to move to the back. He's got a decent underhook with his left hand. Just needs to get some of the uh, hooks in to start attacking the back effectively. Alwyn defending well, well, it's hard to see exactly. Uh, it's back to the front, another chin strap, and it looks like... This is good aggressive work here from James. I think, um, I, you know, against somebody who is a guard player, I'd like, to see, I'd like to see a lot of aggression, a lot of forward pressure, especially with white belts. Um, hesitation. Oh, he's on the foot, he's on the leg, lovely. That was a tap, surely. That was a tap. There we go. That was a it certainly was hovering there for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alwyn's also cleaning up today. He's doing very well for himself. Amazing jujitsu. Well done to Alwyn.
this one. Who we got here? And we're back. I believe we have a. Uh, here we go. Uh, we've got well, Abdullah Zeki from uh, Tenth Planet, um, London. <clears throat> And then, uh, is it Arshak S. Fahar S. Fahar? These guys look a lot bigger than the yeah. 73. S. Fahar, yeah. What does it say in there? I can't see. Is it the Yeah, huge. They are huge, man. Especially the one on top. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, that's, um, what's his name? Ar Arash Arashuk? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce an Arashuk from uh, Checkmat. Wow. I mean, they um, look serious business. Uh, wrapped up in a, a footsie battle at the moment, uh, back up on their feet. I couldn't quite couldn't think of anything else to call it than a footsie battle. I like that name. Uh, it's like, it, 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 was, it was about who had them on the inside and who had them on the outside. I like that terminology. Mm. Footsie battles for the win. <laughs> a nice snap down from yeah. uh, Ar Arashk. Arash. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, he's a big, tall fella. Huge. I want to know how he made 73 kilos. Yeah. I got a feeling he's not, and I feel like that there might well be a bit of a, a mishmash of sort of like some of the fighters. Uh, yeah, because he's really big, and, and the guy. Uh, oh! A nice, uh, that was a good takedown. Wasn't nice it? takedown attempt. Yeah. yeah, some really good wrestling from him. Seems like he knows what he's doing on his feet. And, and, yeah, look at, um, it's a collar tie. Know, Abdullah is doing pretty well, I think, as well. For Dean Shot a oh, nice double. He's in Lovely. He changed the angle there for it to try and avoid the um, the guillotine. I did really well. Actually, you suddenly realising me saying footsie power. This is a 10 planet guy. We're all about the footsie work. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Inside Ashy, outside Ashy. 50-50. Mm. These guys love it. And so do I. He's got a big snap down, hasn't he? I think he's got quite an advantage oh, there. Go for oh, a pass, it looks like. Dance. Oh, it's probably yeah, over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's tapping. Beautiful dice setup. And I think that submission was helped by those long, powerful limbs mm. of, of, of mm. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> and the ref raised the wrong arm there. Showcasing that he is human and he can make mistakes. What's his name? Uh, Arash Shuk <laughs> was actually told that before the match. Yes, he didn't look happy. <laughs> Did he know it? Did he know that that was his, uh, an exhibition match? I'm not sure he knew.
go. Uh, we've got. Sorry, I know, I know, but. We've got. Who is this now? We've got Rajan Sharma from the Gauntlet Fight Factory, and we've got Kuba um, Prisbyla from Elite Jiu Jitsu London. We've already seen um, Rajan in action. Um, winning his last match by DQ. Um, <clears throat> just set himself up. I think he took a top off. He had a lot of blood on it. Yep. At the end of the last match, uh, for the guy who got DQ'd also cut his face. Um, been a couple yeah. of injuries today, but mm. all's been handled. Oh. Lovely. Battle of positions here. Yeah, and the takedown positions, the handwork, the, the you know, that kicking in the shoulder, mm -hmm. all that. Over the time. Cuba really looking for that takedown. Mm. He's looking to get a little sweep or takedown. Oh, oh. the snap down there, he's got the front head. Sprawling on top of him, needs to come round to the side. Fantastic. Oh, lovely. Ah, not tricky position, but it's meant that Sharma has uh, stayed on top at the end of that exchange. Referee resets them in the middle. Have to see Sharma's, you know, still push forward on mm. your shirt. Keep it stepping, you know? It's the only way to really fight. Yeah. <clears throat> Seems like Cuba's waiting for one mistake, Sharma, for Sharma to make. Yeah. If he, at any point, if he does try to shoot for him, He's right on top. He's Stuffs right it there. just like that. There. Look. Yep. Oh, lovely. Oh, great movements from the pair of them. But halfway through the bout at the moment. Well, what can we say? Is it, if it's submission only. Um, it's a bit hard to tell, but I'd probably put two back front at the moment. Absolutely, just with, the, with those snap downs yeah. and, and the control in the head positions, yeah. Yeah. And just and there again, there that. again. Oh, look at that. Straight into back control. Ooh. Doesn't quite get it. He may have nice. A... He's got almost got the back control there. Rajan coming up. And then back up onto their feet. Wow. Great work by both of them, yeah. you know. That kind of disengagement. Yeah. Um, Great office work, offense work from Cuba, but at the same time, good defensive reaction maneuvers from Sharma. Absolutely. Very good, very good um, reactions from him. Just have to hope that he doesn't allow him to finish all his maneuvers because he's slowly getting an extra step ahead. Well, just that's like right, and he has managed to do this particular movement twice, but this time, yeah, it's good. Rajan has stayed on top rather than having his arm caught and yeah. rolling through that position. Just over a minute left on the clock. It's always interesting, that role, because I always feel like it disorientates the opponent. A oh, bit. completely. Getting, getting that spin, that snap and spin. Mm. Oh, lovely. Under a minute left. I mean, somebody's got to do something a bit more decisive. You know, we yeah. need to. Uh... We don't ever want to leave it in the hands of the ref. No. I think at the moment maybe it's um, Cuba who's been. I don't know. I was going to say it's like initiating the the takedowns, but actually mm. he's been reacting to them and getting that. Yes. Although there was a lovely sit through. It's like a lot of counter reactive measures he's taken. Yeah. He's taken a lot of advantage of that. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to have to do this. He's uh, great. He's got I mean, Kimura. It's locked. 
They're both locked into their position as Cooper <laughs> is trying to hip away to, to isolate the arm and, and, and take it away from the body. Didn't tap. Congratulations. I think that will probably be the, um, the decision on that. Yeah. You know, it was a nice locked in position. Yeah, absolutely. Cooper. Um, Much more offensive there. Cooper from Elite Jiu Jitsu London. Uh, winning that much uh, referee's decision, but based probably on the Kimura at the end there. Sorry, the Oma Plata at the end there. Fantastic, yep, Max back on. Tom, how are you feeling, bro? I feel great, man. That was amazing. Yeah, that was good. That was a very, we liked the back and forth of it. We was at the commentator desk and we were saying it seemed, we were going for attempted takedowns, but he was seemed to be stuffing them. Did you find that he was quite quick on the stuffing bit? Yeah, he's got really good wrestling defense. Yeah. He, he shot a lot as well. So yeah, he was great to fight. He had speed, he had, like energy, technique, everything. So yeah, I tried my best. I think probably what won it at the end was that, at the end, that submission attempt, but it was really, really good. It was very, it was very good and very close. Happy to show off your techniques as well. And also more happy that, you know, had a little bump earlier, blood in the shirt, but you're still here. Topless. <laughs> Most definitely. So can I say thank you to um, everyone at the Gauntlet Fight Academy, Professor Neto Nunez, Professor Enrique, my wrestling coach Wally, and everyone at the Gauntlet Fight Academy, thank you so much. Bow to you again. Silver medal, congratulations. Congrats to fantastic work, bro. Give up for Tom, everyone. Cuba, how you doing, man? How was that matchup for you? Um, it was a very good matchup. Um, even though I went into the final, I still feel like I need to work on like being more technical and being more like cross pressure when I'm passing and stuff. Um, Cause I always find myself like rushing through the techniques and yeah. stuff, but I think it's something that he doesn't improve in two, three days or even weeks. He takes some time to, to, to practice. So even though I'm very happy of the result, I still want to practice on my Jiu Jitsu. I'm happy that you've competed, but still found there's things that you want to work on. What um, submissions, was there any particular submissions that you wanted to actually get a hold of on Sharma? Um, I was really like the back choke. Uh, the back choke. Um, I really like passing to the back and then it's uh, keeping very tight uh, yeah. to my partner. So that's what I tried to do. I managed to do that in my second match. Obviously the final was very tough as well as the first fight. Yeah. Um, but I'm just happy I got the result. Congratulations, this is for you, bro. Thank you. Most definitely. Oh, just so good. I would just have to give a quick shout out to everyone at Eon BJJ who I'm coaching their kids and I'm very, very proud of Coach Emin giving me the opportunity for that. And I would like to give thank you to Elite BJJ where Jet who is my coach and I'm very honored that he managed to uh, help me join the project and now I'm able to train with him and hopefully we'll make a really good future. Congratulations, bro. Well done. All right, now we're gonna have one of our first, actually, I think it's our first female match of the day. We have Kate Griffin from New School BJJ going up against Tunde Zhu, representing MMA Den. Oh. Tunde, Kate. So, yes, I do. All right, so our first female match of the day. Oh. I think it's uh, tough when you've had to wait a long time to be able to fight. You know, these, uh, these ladies have had to wait hours in order to be able to fight, so. Ooh! Oh. Beautiful Tunde, Sosakari. Tunde with a nice uh, judo throw there. Oh, oh, Kate with a good sweep. Thea came after it. 
Nogi is so fast paced. So fast, especially at these lower weights. It's very fast, very dynamic. Let's see. Okay, okay with a really good uh, cross face there, not letting uh, Tunde be able to move very well. And let's see, should be able to maintain that control. So far, we still haven't really seen much in a, in a way of submission set up or anything from Kate. Looking for the Dars. Secretly, I saw her practicing this in the in the uh, parking lot earlier. This Dars, so I think this is going to be her move. I think she's got it nearly locked up. Yeah. Tunde doing well to keep that elbow high. But the top control pressure from from Kate is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, she's very confident here she's, uh, that she can move to mount. She's ended up in a, in a three-quarter mount position. I think, I think she's, she's locking up a front choke here. Looks I like she's going for Ezekiel, yeah, Ezekiel here. Yes. Very think, sneaky. Very sneaky. I think Kate wants to grab her own bicep with her, with her left hand. If she can do that and squeeze. Tun is in pain right now. You can see the scrimmage on her face. Yeah. Reverses it. But Kate's going to her back, at least trying to get to her back. Yeah, I think Tunde wants to try and bring her right hand back across the center line, but hasn't been able to. Oh, I think Kate's got an arm across the neck there. I think she's maybe got it. Can't see from this angle, but if she oh. squeezes here, it keeps oh, it. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Lovely, lovely. This is an exhibition match. Um, I recognize Tai Chi from some of the earlier uh, matches in the day. He's uh, currently playing guard. And I'm afraid, unfortunately, I don't know the name of the chap on top. Sam. Sam. So we have Sam on, uh, on the top looking to pass guard. And Tai Chi. Tai Chi's had a lot of matches today. He's done very well mm. for himself. Sam actually was uh, fighting really well in his last match. It was, uh, it was kind of impressive. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was a quick, quick. Was a, that was a quick footlock. Yeah. 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 That was good. So we have a, this is a brown belt match, is that right? Technically, he's the brown belt, but he uh. goes to 
Is it going? Is it going? Okay. So yeah. this is fought under. So with with knee bars, toe yeah. holds. Should be a good match, actually. It'll be interesting to watch this as we've watched so many matches earlier of other belt levels. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I know Ed very well. Um, solid competitor, really. Hard, trains hard, trains a lot. Um, at the Institute of Grappling under uh, Ed, uh, yeah, Ed Ingemel's party bear. Okay. So, um, you know, he's been training a number of years. Lovely, lovely guy. Um, solid jiu-jitsu. And yeah. this is, is this under 70 kgs, this match? Or is it under 67? I, they look to me like they're probably under 70. But. Yeah, I think they are. Um, and actually, he's... Yeah. Now, was now was Jacques able to score a, a takedown there? I didn't quite see it because it was out of the way. Oh! oh, oh, oh they oh. are throwing those feet. Yeah. Uh, Both looking for a toehold or a yeah, knee bar. Yeah. Didn't quite get it. I think um, Ed's looking to pass that, that, that his Jacques' foot yeah, across his hip. Of, no, no, he's uh, keeping up that size by the looks of it. Oh, there's a belly down foot lock. That's Jock doing well. They keep hiding his foot. Yeah, okay, no, oh, 50 uh, 50 position. This is a heel that's hook. That's dangerous. That's uh, a heel hook position. Yeah. I, think, I think Ed's being very nice here. Yeah. I think he's giving Jock a lot of time. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good, uh, good competitor there, you know, because this heel hook position is very vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, he's looking And he's not ripping on it. He's taking his time and giving giving lots of opportunity for Jacques to be able to defend. It's tough, I think. tough, tough. I think uh, Ed needs to move his kind of arms slightly backwards so it kind of rests yeah. closer to the, um, the forearm rather than the sort of like the muscly part nearer the elbow. Yeah, yeah. Great, well done. He kind of uh, almost released himself from it. You know, Jacques doing well to hide that hide that heel. He's pulling it. He's doing the right thing, which is he's pulling it into the mm. heel. Um, if if Ed's able to hip into the knee, it's going to be a very dangerous position. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I think you really? can tell that Jacques is very strong. Yeah. Now that his leg is mostly straight, I think he's out of danger. But well, he hasn't let go of it, and so no. it's still uh, the dangerous. Mm -hmm. you know, this is uh, I, I prefer I prefer he allowing heel hooks in 50-50. It really makes the position a lot more interesting. You know, in the gi, 50-50 tends to be a bit of a stalling position, but here when heel hooks are involved, it can be a much more dynamic position. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's, it's interesting though because it's one of my favourite positions in uh, in no gi. In the gi. Oh, in, in the, the gi. gi. In the gi. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a few passing options with it. However, you're right, you're absolutely in here, and I wrapped myself in a 50-50 in a competition once. Yeah. And, of course, I was heel hooked. Yeah. You know, because the, the heels are exposed. Absolutely, yep. Um, but, yeah, Ed did a really good job hanging on to those toes, kind of rotating through each of the yep. movements, but they've released... But um, Jack is, uh, considering he is fighting up here, he's actually a purple belt fighting under brown yeah. belt rules. He's, you know, this is really impressive. Yeah. And, and can I just say, their hairstyles are just yeah. beautiful, you know? I, you, know I, you know, you can move faster when you don't have any hair. It's, well, you know, absolutely. And, and, you know, in many ways, I think, feel like they, you know, <laughs> if, I, if, I looked at, if I blinked too quickly and looked at them, I, I would swear they were brothers. <laughs> it's also, yeah. when, you're, when you're bald like that, it's harder to hold on to the head. It's yeah, really the, slippery. So you're kind of constantly yeah. slipping off of the yeah. position. Yeah. yeah. This is it. Where's this leg? So our referee Jack, uh, um, Jack has instructed them to get a bit more activity going. It's tough. So Ed's got a lockdown on that leg, so that's preventing Jacques from moving any further up the body. It's also giving him an opportunity to get his frames in. Um, Jack doing well to control that head, but w with Ed moving down the body here, he has an opportunity to get those legs separated, Jacques' legs separated, and maybe go for some sweeps or perhaps uh, even some submissions. 
Yeah, and it's tricky as well because Jacques is obviously he's having to keep himself upright in the position. Mm. So his arms are, I mean, this is better for him. It's much better for Ed now, um, yeah. It looks like he's thinking about a deep half sweep, perhaps a waiter sweep here. Oh, I'd like to see Jacques oh, oh. going for an Americana. He has the arm isolated, nice. but Good it's guy. not quite there. He hasn't got underneath the elbow. Right. Oh, well but done, but well by doing that has pre prevented Ed from defending from going mm. for the sweep. So smart yeah, move there. It's just slightly oh. moved over. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, close match. <laughs> oh boy, that's a close match. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be in in Jack's uh, position here. Well, I'm going to go for Ed. I think yeah. he, there was a lot more attacks going on for him. Than sustained. I think you're probably yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do an EBI overtime, looks like. So I think because this is a, a bit of a super fight, we're going to do an EBI mm. overtime. Great. It's interesting as well. We talked about that kind of experience of jujitsu. The, um, the early bouts are so fast. The movements are explosive, dynamic, you know. These two guys, we've just seen what like years of jiu-jitsu does there, where it all just slows down. Every single movement counts. Yeah. Yep, yep. And usually the first one to make a mistake is the one who loses at, yeah. belt, at brown belt and black belt. So you really don't <coughs> want to be the guy that makes the first, that blinks, you yeah, know, that yeah, makes the absolutely. first mistake. Got a coin out here. Whoop. Uh, or, or cryptocurrency, you know. <laughs> who knows? Oh, I was thinking, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> who are these people? <laughs> Is that your son? <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure who won the coin toss. It looks like maybe Jacques won the coin toss. He did, and he's elected to attack first. So they're going to put him into a seatbelt position. Ed will want to lock those hands up. And now it's the fastest escape or the fastest submission. Amazing. So this, uh, this will be the decider for the brown belt match. Ed's looking to get his back to the mat here. Uh, protect his neck. Can, knees. Uh, that's, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's it. That was pretty quick. What was that? Ten seconds? Ten seconds. So now Ed needs to control Jacques for more than 9.2 seconds. And this is where it gets really exciting, can it? Can be. Interesting. What? He's going spider web. He's what? going for the sub. Oh my goodness. Now, this is interesting because this is, an, I think, an easier tapping position, but also an easier escaping position. Well, that's right, yeah. So this is <coughs> interesting, isn't it? Look at that. I, I guess I, Ed feels really confident yeah. here. He can hold this position for long enough. Uh, maybe he just kind of, he's been practicing it. Close, close match. You know, they could, these guys could fight probably 10 times and uh, draw even, you know? He's a great guy, actually, and he's, he's, he really throws himself in. He's got a really good attitude to No, oh, that's to good to hear. All of this. You know, look at him. Real character there. Where's their gym, Institute of Grappling? Do you know? It's just grappling. It's, it's in Finchley. No, it's by Hendon uh, um, okay. Central. It's like across the road from it. Sorry, it's, it's Hendron Central. It's across okay. the road from it. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far away from the old Mill Hill. Oh, very good. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Oh. Kate and, and Helen. Helen. So Kate, we saw a fight earlier. She got a submission earlier today. Helen has uh, really run in on that double leg there. Kate doing well to control the head and prevent a pass. <sighs> oh, back on the feet. Okay. Mm. Oh. 
Kate's wrapped that head up already. She's thinking guillotine here. She's got an arm in guillotine, yeah. looks like. Well, this might be enough. Oh, but she's turning yeah, the wrong he's getting way. the arm out. Yeah. Helen has that uh, good stifling top pressure here. Oh, Helen dropping that that leg across the hip there. Almost I mean, got it. Almost yeah. got it. That can be really dangerous position. You can get a, a, a twister from there if you're able to do that from side control. Yeah, a really kind of flexible position as well. Yeah, Helen is uh, being very heavy on top. It's interesting. She's kind of... I think she's trying to isolate that far arm. Oh, yeah, now she's got a Kimura on the near arm. transition around the head. She needs to get the knees together. If she pinches her knees together, I think she can maybe go for a... Oh, it's coming, it's Kimura coming. Here. Uh, she's got her hands in the wrong way, though. She needs to switch her hands up. Switching around the other way. Yeah, she needs to get her, her left hand on the wrist, not her right hand. Yeah, Kate's defending well. She's still uh, keeping that arm tight. Helen's uh, got that good floating pressure here. Yeah, really uh, heavy. Looks like she's trying to isolate that forearm again, maybe going for an Americana. Yeah, I think that's what she's yeah, going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got something there. She just needs to keep her flat. That was all right. This is tough. I, I think Kate's got her arm trapped. Her right arm is trapped behind her back here. This is a tough position. Oh, and she got two hooks in now. This oh. is short choke. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look where the arm is. Yeah. I mean, she. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Kate had her arm trapped behind her back there. That was. Uh, it was going to be tough to defend with one arm trapped.
Père Manuel. All right, and so this is going to be, I think, the final fight in the women's division. Mm -hmm. Tunde, um, uh, Tunde and Helen. So uh, Helen won her match against uh, Kate, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think Tunde showed some really good. Oh, she showed some some good judo when she was fighting earlier, but. Yeah, you're right. Helen, Helen uh, Cochrane from Militia Cochrane. and Cochrane, thank you. And Tunde Zhu, doesn't okay. say where she's from. I like that. Tunde had a really nice throw and also Tagari when, uh, when she fought in her first match. Yep, there she goes. Heavy on the head there, really heavy. Oh, oh, she's got a... Yeah, lovely, lovely. That's a guillotine she's position. Head, yeah, yeah, she's, she's got her head, though. She's got her head. This is tight. a guillotine it's position. Yay! Yeah. 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 Great. Wow. Well, I'm, I don't know. What are they going to do now? Because each of them have one win. They each. Oh, the, well. All three of them have one win. Oh, really? So how are they going to ah, manage this? How are they going to do it? Well done. Wow. Yay. I hey. think that either they might let slip, well, they, they would have to start the competition again, basically, with the three of them. What they might do is, like, the first who got the submission. Yes. It might go on that basis Maybe. or something. And, um, yep, yep, that might be it. And that helps to, to do that. Yep. Let's turn those down. I think we need to kick in the mats.
<laughs> I think we're going to have an Oprah moment and everyone's going to get a medal. Um, <laughs> congratulations to you all. Um, I don't even know where to start. Cindy. Ah, so Cindy was Cindy. Apologies. How did you find your matches? Oh my God, so strong. <laughs> Girl power. <laughs> no, no, Girl it was, power it's, it's actually my first match, so I was like, I'm very happy, like grateful for her, yeah. for both of them. <laughs> so this is your f this is your first comp. Yeah, first comp. So it's very intense. <laughs> but thank you, coach, especially because of Fabi. Yeah. I'm here. And Shout out to the coaches as well. <laughs> and Kate, right? How was your matches? Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and it's also my first competition, so it was like a brand new feeling to be like one of the local girls. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys for you know my first matches, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. Um, how did you find this experience as a whole? It's your first thing here, and you've got the cameras and all. But how do you find it? Um, it wasn't as like scary as I'd always made it in my brain, and like when you start to get like more comfortable with your surroundings, and like other people are like always competing around you, and you can see everything that's going on. It makes you feel a bit more confident to like try it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Congratulations to you too. And Hannah, is it? Helen, sorry, apologies. How are you feeling? Good. And can we talk to you that you've made a appearance already at the Fred Lab Tennis Competition? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so three first matches, all three win, all three lose. <laughs> but it's perfect, you know? Everyone gets the gold medal now, so congratulations. <laughs> Whoa. You are. Uh, who's this? And Helen, congratulations to you too. Thank you all very much. Um, yeah, we definitely need a photo op. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you very much. Awesome. Um, so now we're going to go on to our next match. I can't currently see who is next, but I believe we've got the geese on. We've got the geese. Main event of the evening. Last match of the day. Those watching at home, thank you very much. This has been the Entity Open No Gi and Gi Edition. I've been Mikel. I hope everyone's excited for the last match here. Is everyone excited for the last match over here? Yeah, yeah kind of, apparently. Let's get going.
behind those for those at home. And for those watching at home, we now have David Agar representing Primal Combat Academy going up against Raphael Vecchioni. 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 From Checkmat Fight Zone, London. Thinks to be a best of three. So it's Raffaele in the white gi. Raffaele is a, that's a nice little uh, uh, swing takedown. Yeah, David looking to establish a, a maybe a double sleeve or a collar and sleeve or oh, this is an interesting position. Raffaele doing well to keep his knees together. It's harder to get much harder to get underneath you when you keep your knees right. together like that. It's hard to maintain balance. You have to work really hard at it, but it's a good position to keep keep those knees together. So Raffaele looking to fold those legs over, but hasn't unfortunately hasn't been able to, and he's landed in full guard here. He was shooting up for it. Looks like he's thrown those legs up for a, for a triangle. D didn't quite get it. Now Raphael is going double unders here. Double under, and he's looking to he's looking to push his way through the guard. This is a really good position here. Now into an over under pass. So this is a uh, Bernardo Faria special here. The the, the over under. Mm. Looks like he's kind of giving it up a little bit. Oh, and David's maybe looking for that near arm. He's uh, looking to turn his hips over so he can maybe attack that arm, but hasn't quite got to it yet. Both men being very careful with, with yeah. each other. Oh. oh, that's a good sweep attempt there. Very good sweep attempt. And he's locked in that straight foot lock position. X guard now is maybe going to go belly down. No, nope. hasn't lost control of the legs, so he hasn't been able to follow up with a belly down foot lock. But he looks like he's still trying to gather it up. There he goes. It's found now it. it's a really good position here for David. If he drops his hips down, if he drops his hips down and he keeps nice and tight on that leg, he can put a lot of pressure on it and go for a straight foot lock. This isn't a knee bar here. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you. It was that a uh, common mistake. But it did. I thought he was gonna go for a knee bar, but. I don't believe they're allowed to? Not allowed, no. Um, knee bars are for uh, brown and black belts only. Right. Yeah. So David's still working hard. He's, you know, I like the fact that David's here throwing up a lot of submission attempts yeah. here. It's yeah. going to look good in the eyes of the ref, you know. I think the ref was going to want to see a lot of submission attempts in the sub-only comp. As much as we don't like to leave it in the eyes of the ref, it's still good to show those attempts those yes. attempts for the ref, you know. Show that you're very active, show that you're seeing those submissions then making those offense, those attacks where possible. Yeah. Even if it does mean you end up in a little bit of a worse position sometimes, yeah. if you don't get that sub, it's still, I think, better to go for it in a, in a situation like this. Yeah. But Raphael is doing very well here. He's still, um, you know, it's clear David has a really tricky guard, and Raphael is focused on keeping his head down, making sure that he can try and pin those hips to the mat using his head and his shoulder. Um, That's, yeah, that's, I think, a little bit better of a technique is maybe getting a deeper grip on that collar. Yeah, this slowly is, making his way around. This is exactly where he wants to be. He wants to be able to get a better grip on that, on that gi behind the head. Now, grabbing the gi behind the head, what type of chokes can so he... So you can go for a... There's a couple. There's a cross choke or a baseball bat choke. So if, he, if Raffaele here were to take his right hand and put it on the, on the lapel, he can go for a baseball bat choke. Right. And you can do it from the guard, from half guard. Um, it's a really good position. He's still but got that at the back there, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he needs to give it up now. Uh, David's been able to square back up again. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the ref needs to fix their uh, gi here. Ref needs to stop it and maybe fix Raffaele's gi. Uh, not allowed to grab the gi like that. The ref oh. needs to do something about this. He's not, though. He needs to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ref needs to step into this one. Yeah, this is um, David's looking for interesting, like almost like a mirror lock there on the on the arm, but hasn't been able to get it. 
Still oh, 30 seconds up. left. Yeah, no, no, you can't, uh, you, you can't really pull the gi up over top of the head like that. Yes, you need some vision there. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a tough one to call here. Oh, he's got a oh. uh, straight oh. arm bar. It's close. Oh. It's close. Uh, that was, I think, the closest submission we've had so far. It's going to be very good to see you guys of the ref. <laughs> Great job for the first five minutes. Both. Fighters. They've got another match after this, yep. so uh, no matter who wins this, they're still going to fight again, yep. at least once more. Be the best of three. Hope whoever gets first to two, of course, wins. Uh, how's the ref going to decide? Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. okay, now okay. I'm I'm not sure I agree with that mm. because he I think only David was the one who was uh, actually able to throw, throw any legitimate legitimate submission attempts. Mm -hmm. I think Raffaele did di dis did display good positional control. Right. But this isn't a position only sub uh, event. It's a submission, submission only. Submission only. Yeah. So, but you know they have another chance after this. So, hopefully it'll be up to. It's, you see, it's as we said earlier. It's, it's what you're showing, mm. but then we don't want to leave it to the decisions of the ref because what we see. No, no, you might we really have something totally different. Exactly. You know? No, no. You always defer to the ref. In the end, mm. refereeing is a tough job, and yeah. uh, you know you got to give it. You got to give it to them. It's they're the ones that are putting their butts on the line when it yeah. comes to being out there and making these tough decisions. So, so those watching at home, thank you for, huh? Thank you for, you know, tuning in. Still got a couple more fights to go at most. This is powered by Myriad Studios, you know. Make sure you check out Myriad Studios on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram as well, Watson and Mikkel. Here to host your shows here and there. We have the Ronin and myself tomorrow for the Aftermath show. So make sure you tune into that, share that, like that, subscribe. And yeah, that, that'll, be, that'll be perfect.
And this one is not. So now we're into part two of our possible trilogy. Oh, I think David's going to want to show uh, something here that's a little bit different. Raffaele again, he's the same takedown he did in the first one. Works really yeah. well for him. Must be a, probably a common technique he finds useful for himself. Yeah. It's something actually you see in judo. It's a little bit like a, what we call a sesai in, uh, in, in judo, where you right. kind of swing the person and, and catch their foot, ideally, as, they, as oh. you turn them around. And that's called an sesai. Sesai. Sesai, yeah. correct. It's, a, it's kind of a variation on a, of a sesai that he did there. Okay. Good heavy pressure on top here. Oh, he's got a loop choke. He's going for a loop choke. Ah, not quite. Seems very, um, I think he's got that confidence of having the first round. First so round he victory. can really yep. push right here for the for the victory here, and maybe even close an early show. Maybe. Yep. I can't count David out. He has a lot to think about, as long as he keeps composed. Oh, I think he's going for that loop choke again. Oh, this is a much better position now. This is much closer, but David's done well to push his way out the other end. Yep, still in the competition. A minute and a half has gone by. It's a, a really tricky guard. I think um, David has displayed some really good flexibility, I really was, good, yeah. really good uh, leg pummeling, keeping his legs in between. Um, very dangerous guard player when uh, somebody like that who can try, who can keep their legs in the game, right. not easy to get past them. Um, it's very tricky also because th sometimes their leg, their angles will just come from anywhere. Yes, yeah. Oh, he's gone for that Ooh. straight foot lock again. This is he tried this in the first one oh, here, but that was close. didn't quite that was get nice. it there. That was a, a good legitimate attempt. I think they're one for one on uh, on, on, the attempts. on on attempts and submission attempts here. It's as you called it, it's the legitimate attempts. We can be reset right now. Remember to let us know what your favorite submissions are. Throw them in the comments. Let us know. Even to send us a DM. What was the favorite submission that you've even seen today? Hopefully you get that. We'll get that um, cut and put onto tomorrow's episode for the Aftermath show. Featuring myself and the Ronin. Oh. Uh, David likes that inverted position, and now he's he's done well to pass the gi behind the head. And uh, this opens up some cross chokes again, baseball bat chokes, uh, if he's able to get that. But he's uh, he's decided to give it up, give it up there. Uh, David's moved to full guard. Uh, Raffaele is going to want to stand up. Stripping grips. Raffaele has got excellent balance here on top. I have to say, so if, uh, of all of the competitors here uh, that I've seen today, he's had one of the best uh, postures and, and balance on top. Um, I, I very to confident agree. in his passing game. You can tell he's confident because he's dropping that head down, and he's not afraid to put his head into the mix uh, yeah. to be able to pin those hips <sighs> down. They're very evenly matched, these two. I think, again, the only thing that seems to be separating them is uh, Raffaele scored takedowns yes. in each of the matches that they've had so far. Otherwise, I think they're both very, very uh, close. It's just that look, that aesthetic as I'm always talking about. If you make yourself look like you're doing the work, showing that pressure, some people may take that a bit differently. Mm. As you said, he's, his head is always in the mix, but he's never really seemed to be in danger from from that. No, no, not so far. Although he did almost get armbarred in the uh, in the ah, first one. Yeah. And 
This is good. See, you can rotate into a into a uh, triangle from here, uh, David can, but uh, Raffaele looks to have uh, understood the, the, the danger and is pinning that uh, David's right leg in so he can't get it. Last few seconds. Very close. Well, let's see what Fam takes this as. Yeah, I think Rafael is taking this one again. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. On the strength of his takedowns, it looks like he's uh, been able to secure yeah. the win. Yeah. He won the first yeah, one. and we have so our winner. Second. We have our winner, Rafael. Raffaele. And David, will he speak to you both? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. I want to talk to David first. How are you feeling, David? I'm all right, mate. Uh, yeah. He's telling me he's going to the Europeans. Is it next oh. month? Yeah. Man, that's a dumb man losing his bloke going to yeah. the Europeans. Like. <laughs> How did you find that for yourself? Uh, he's, he's easy the strongest I've gone against, like, in the competition. Yeah. I, I think I've done six comps this year so far, okay. and he's the easiest, strongest. So. Did you have a specific game plan that you wanted to come into this, or do you find that what you wanted to do was it not always nullified? What did you, what did you have? Yeah, I've... Um, not, 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 not the best at take down, so I, I sort of expected that coming. Uh, most of my game plans off my back anyway. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he just shut me down off my back. Yeah, I've got, got a set, set path that I follow on, on, on my back mainly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he just shut me down everywhere. So. Thank you either way. Super happy even for you for coming through. And thank you for always competing. Us. Thank you. And our winner, Raffaele, how are you doing? Yeah, going good. I don't know what I'm going to say. First of all, I want to congratulate you for my opening because it's very strong. Very strong. And the also, first also you for the main event. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank I didn't you. It. That's why I say, okay, let's try. Was, uh, it, was there any more pressure as the main event? Nah, just a bit. Just, yeah. just a little. No, not too much. So what? What was like your um, at that first round? He almost had your arm bar. He almost had an um, arm there. How how when, close when, was it? When he tried to do yes. me, not only the arm bar, also the, the guillotine. He tried to me ah. to choke to me, and I said, okay, probably yeah. I almost done. But I said, okay, let me try to to push a bit. Yeah. That's why I stand it, and I push him out. And that's Congrats. why I say, okay, I'm out. <laughs> I can I can speak in that way. It's done it twice. So congratulations yeah, right. Thank you to yourself. You are the winner. I'll give you this. No, you're all good. You're all good. Thank you for those watching at home. This has been the Entity Open Nogi Edition. My name is Mikhail Watson. I'm just keeping an eye out for Marcus, you know. Might just try and grab me. But, um, yes, thank you for all tuning in. Remember to come into our next event December 9th. And we'll all 